Hello? Yes, my friend, you are live on air. You are a Muslim? Yeah. Can you confirm that? Can you say the Shahada? Yeah, Layla. <clears throat> La ilaha illallah Muhammadan Rasulullah. What does that mean? There's no God but Allah and Muhammad is the last messenger. But you just said there's no God. Yeah, but Allah. Okay. I mean, have you ever heard of somebody saying there's no fake but fake? There's no fake but fake? No, there's no fake but fake. <laughs> what do you mean? Well, either there's fake or there's no fake. You just told me there's no fake but fake. Do you do we have fig or there's no fig? A fig is a plant or like a vegetable. Doesn't matter. Right? You are just replacing a word when you say to this to me. There's no, there's no God but Allah. Is God is Allah is God? Allah is God. Yeah. Okay, but you just say there's no God. Well, this is the name of God. There's no God. It doesn't matter. But you just said to me there's no God. How you deny the existence of God and then you confirm saying with Allah, I mean, this is, this is, this is silly, but anyway, I will go with that. So you call me to prove to me, my, did you hear what we are saying, my friend? Yeah, you were talking about figure swearing by something, right? Yeah, I mean, the, your God is really like, it looked like he is too much into vegetables and fruits. Okay, well, okay. Why he swear by fig? Well, what, what is, why, uh, why God he swear by fig? What do you think? Because it's his creation. He created it, right? Well, my friend, everything in me is God a creation, correct? Which means if I go to the bathroom now and I do pee, is Allah going to swear by the pee which he made? Because he made me and whatever come from me is he's made too. So is no, God going to swear by the pee of make, Christian he bread? Didn't, he, didn't, he, he didn't make that. Your body did that. When That's not true. That's not true. If God, he made the machine who makes things, as an example, the true. You just said to me, the fig, Allah, he made the fig, right? But the fact okay, is, okay. Allah, I have a, no, I have listen, a listen. For Allah, he, he just made the tree. He did not make the fig. And then the tree made the fig. So according to you, what come from the tree is made by Allah. But what come up from, from me is not made by Allah. What kind of logic okay, is that logic? CP, le, le, okay, I, I have a challenge for you because I've been looking at your videos for a long time, right? Well, you, know, and, uh, you know, the problem is uh, uh, my mom, she told no, me, no, don't, but if my, you, if... my, my mom, she told me, don't accept any challenge, you know, because Muslim challenge is scary. Give me your challenge. Go ahead. Okay. If you, if you show me why I should, I, if Islam is false, then I will leave Islam. If I show you why Islam is false, you will leave Islam. This is the challenge. If you show me, yeah, if you show me why I should leave Islam and why it's not the truth, then okay. I will leave Islam because I watched your videos and I have some doubts, but it's very hard to leave. Okay. But like, yeah, so that's my challenge. If you, if you show me, I will leave right okay. now. Can this, you, can you, gi can you give me yourself the most uh, strong reason for you to believe in Islam so I can go from there? What is the most strong thing uh, for you? Um, I, be I believe in like the miracles, like the miracles that Muslims say. Like and what? This, uh, like the fake? Like, um, <laughs> no, not the fake. Huh. Um, probably, um, uh, um, I don't know, just miracles, like just, like just any miracles. So you believe you believe in Islam because of the miracle, but when I ask you what the miracle, you say I don't know what miracles. I mean that is that's too much. Give me one of them. <laughs> uh, the the um the bee one, the way the honey makes the bees make the honey. The bee, thank you. You see, remember remember what I told you that Allah he swear by my pee. Now Allah will swear by the bee and He will swear by the honey. Look at this. You just mentioned okay. to me the bee honey, right? But according to the yeah. Quran. According to the city of Allah, the the, uh -huh. the 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 honey of the bees is their poo poo. No. Okay, you want to see? Yeah. <laughs> All right. According to the Quran, bees they eat a fruit and they poo poo honey. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Let me see. Put it up on your thingy because I can't see it. What do you mean? Let me see. You are the one who mentioned the verse. You do not know what it, what the verse is. Read it. Here we go. No, I know the verse. Go, in chapter go and eat all right? the produce of the earth. What the what the what the bees do? 
They go and eat all the produce of the earth. But by the way, it says fruits, not produce. If you change the translation, this guy is an idiot. It doesn't say produce, really. It says, <laughs> it says a fruit, thimar. So if you go to different translator, let's see. I think the the uh, the bees is he they went to eat the the, the fig, <laughs> so then uh -huh. then eat the fruit and follow the yeah. ways of your Lord made easy for you. And Allah He made easy the way for them, but uh -huh. they, as I know that bees they fly they don't go in roads. But anyway, let's go. Uh -huh. There come forth from their belly a drink. <laughs> so the, according to the stupid Allah. The bees, they eat egg and they piss honey. No, but doesn't the nectar get collected in the bees? This is not, um, what, it say, this is not what it says. You see, my friend, when you say the nectar, the nectar is not, is not the food they eat yet. It is something they store, correct? Yeah, in the okay. belly. But Allah is saying, bee, no, Allah saying you eat from the fruit. You eat from the fruits. Uh -huh. You eat from the fruit. And then after you eat from the fruit, honey will come from your belly. Okay. How is that happening? Uh, well, Muslims said that the way I read articles and the Muslim sheikh up in the, in the mosque explained to me that <clears throat> this is the way uh, that they store the nectar and this is where the bee, the honey friend, comes from. My friend, can't, can't Allah say, go and collect the nectars? <laughs> I mean, Arabic is very simple. Allah, I know. if Allah want to make a miracle, he can say, Okay, B, B. No, let me, I got to be here. Hey, B, <laughs> what do you do for a living? Okay. I translate for you now. I collect nectar and I put it in my mouth. All right. And I put it in a tube inside my mouth. And then I take it to the, to the hive, which means the bee which collect the nectar is not the same one who make it honey. Do you agree? Yeah. But the yeah. Quran says the opposite. Okay, 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 fine. What do you mean, okay, 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 fine, my friend, you made a challenge for me. Uh, you know, okay, how, you know uh, see, I told you, my mom, she told me, don't accept <laughs> yeah, any challenge. Because I don't know, they haven't explained it to me like this, so I don't know. Like, I'm my confused. friend, you do not need the explanation or the explanation. It, uh, this is science. You go, you will see that there's a bee who collect the nectar, and there's other bees who make the honey, you know? All right. By yeah, the yeah. way, I used to work as a bee for three years, so I'm expert in that, you know? Yeah. Really? Yeah, I was like, you know, I've been given the rank uh, to be like, uh, do you know, do you know Mr. Bean? Yeah. He was with me. This is why they call him Mr. Bean, because he was Mr. B. Wow. Yeah, that's true cool. story. Sahil Bukhari, brother. <laughs> <laughs> wow, dude, you're crazy. Okay. I am the crazy. Um, God is the crazy. Uh, what the heck with this guy? This this is a God explaining to us how how according to the stupid God, this this the, the bees they eat fruit and they poo poo honey, and that's why we, are, we okay. so we are eating the poo poo of the of the bees. <laughs> so bee does not come from, <clears throat> from uh, so honey does not come from the belly. It's the nectar, right? My friend, first of all, the one who go out. This is the worker bee go out to collect the nectar. Yeah. Is not going to eat and honey come from it. Do we agree in that? Yeah, because they okay. crush the nectar down to sugars and then from that they not, make no, the no, honey not come, that, right? Not only that. The, then the bee who collect the nectar is going to take it back to the hive. Correct? Uh-huh. Okay. And then uh -huh. in the hive, there is a process of making honey. Uh -huh. so it's not the same bee. Right away from her mouth will come honey. Okay. You know? All right, okay. And okay. I am not a scientist, I... you know, either or like I'm, by the way, I'm very well educated in this, uh, not because I was like, you know, working in the bee field for like three years. And I, I, I used to work a po as a postman for the for bee's hive. I, I delivered them all the messages. So they tell me, see, I know see, all the secrets. Okay, CP, I, I read your book and it, 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 said, on the, it said in the book that the Muslims, Muslims have five um, obligations to complete, but you said there's a sixth one, which is jihad. Mm -hmm. That Muhammad was commanded to fight against non-Muslims until Cor they said correct. there's no God but Allah. Yeah. But, 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 but how? If this is the case, how come? Like, I'm not told about it as a as a Muslim to do this. Okay. What What is the best way to go to heaven? 
the best way. Yeah. Uh, I think in the Quran, uh, I saw your video. You said that um, to fight or something, right? Jihad. Or to fight or, or be jihad, killed you know? or kill yeah, or something. You know, to, to jihad. Yeah. Uh, you know, this is the the most uh, uh, beloved act by Allah. So how the Muslim they say? Can you show me? Uh, it's 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 uh, all over. Let us go. Okay, no no problem. There's somebody is trying. You see, when a Muslim he call right away, the other Muslim they try to call, but not to talk to me. <laughs> they try to call yeah. to drop the call. You know. Yeah, you know they don't they don't want to talk. By the way, they, uh, if you if you if you drop your call now, they will stop calling. <laughs> okay. Okay. Uh, uh, if you go in the Quran, <clears throat> uh huh, you will see in the Quran as an example in the ch in the in the chapter of the spider. Right. You, by the way, your God is like a zoo God. You know, I don't know. He have everything. He have elephant zoo. You know, I mean, uh, a cow. Okay. <laughs> what the heck is that? Okay. So if you go here. It says, let us see this verse. Uh -huh. Chapter 29, verse number 69, it says, As for those who strive, this is the word jihad, fast translation, do jihad, hard in us or cause, hmm? we uh -huh. will surely guide them to our path. Right, okay. Okay. So the confirmation of the right path, if you do, Jihad. This is a promise. But what does it mean by the right path? Is that heaven? Which means to go to heaven. Okay. You know? Yeah. And then the Quran says in chapter uh, of Ali Amran, uh, don't think that those who die or killed for the sake of Allah, they are dead, but they are living. So this is not a promise for anyone except those who do jihad. You as a Muslim, you die, you die. That's it. You are dead. But if you, yeah, if you do jihad, you don't die, mm. you will be alive, but in different place, supposedly. So here we go, chapter three, verse number 169, saying that. You think that they are dead, but in fact, they are alive. This is a promise never been given to anyone. So which mean all the other five, the Muslim they give us are false. This is the most important one. Because okay. other ones, they don't give you life even when you die. You have life after, yes, those are alive. Mm -hmm. You know, even they are killed. You think they are killed. You think they are dead. But did Muhammad ever kill anybody? Well, Muhammad is a he's a he's a coward. You know, he's a guy who shout at people in the parking oh in the parking God, lot. That's not nice. And when people they okay. fight with him, you know, he he cry. Yeah, Muhammad he don't kill really. Muhammad he he hide behind. He he order his men to go and kill. Uh, but he was, uh, as I know, he was like a choppy guy. He do not know. He is not fast and moving. He hardly, he have hardly, he can climb a donkey. So how he can fight, you know? Right. Okay. Yeah. And you know the Quran says. But, but, and but the, did he the, ever? Quran, did he let, ever? Let me ask you: Is 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 those who do jihad is equal to those who don't do jihad in Islam? Uh, equal? I, I'm not sure. Will the Quran confirm that those who do jihad are not equal to those who don't? Mm -hmm. So where you say that? Well, in the Quran too. So when when somebody says to you, "Oh, a Christian prince is adding number six, and he believed this is the most important one," well, I have I have the proof. Uh -huh. Not equal are those of believers who sit at home, you know, to the uh -huh. the one who do jihad. Well, okay. This is okay. Okay. Yeah, I'm, I'm showing, I'm, I'm showing you. I'm showing you the verses in front of your eyes. You it's know. just very slow. The thingy. It's just... Yeah, this is a chapter four, verse number ninety-five. Okay, four ninety-five. Okay. So those who go kill are not equal to those who don't do kill. So now, mm -hmm. if you don't go and join jihad with Putin, you know, mashallah, you know, that Qadarov he decided to do jihad with Putin to be his puppy because Putin okay. became Allah and Qadarov is worshiping Putin. So you okay. do jihad, you are not equal to anyone. You are not equal to the Muslim who stay home. So why the Muslim okay. didn't add it? It shouldn't be number six, it should be number one. Okay. But 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 Muhammad, like in the Quran, uh, in the Quran it says like um uh to not fight against non-muslims because uh unless those who what no, is this, it? I think this is abrogated like, this is abrogated. no no it said no it says it's, i heard ali dawa said in speaker's corner he uh -huh. said that that um 
if do, do not fight against those only if they uh, remove you from their homes or or something like that or kick you out of their homes uh, there's who, a verse in the Quran that says that is that the guy who wear a jacket from the circus and his wife she gave him a grape <laughs> I don't I don't know but I mean, this is a kid yeah, it's, it's okay, what this guy is saying this guy is a kid no, my friend okay no no are you saying to me that Ali Dawa is a scholar he don't even have high school I mean who is this guy He's a circus yeah, guy, he's a joker, like, you know, at least, you know, mention to me, someone is, is, is noble, like uh, Mimi Hijab, you know, he showed his nipples. My friend, there's a chapter in the Quran, it's called <laughs> the chapter of Bara'a, Bara'a, which is a tawbah. Bara'a, okay. Muhammad, he made it clear that he made, he washed his hand from all the agreement. So those are previous agreement. Don't fight uh -huh. those who don't fight you. Don't kick them unless they kick you. Don't, don't, don't. But this is when Muhammad was weak. When Muhammad, he became strong, he said, freedom from all obligation. That's why this chapter, right. the real name is Bara'a. Bara'a mean, uh, like, uh, I wash my hands from everything. You know, I'm, I'm free from it. You know? Okay. And then later, they okay. change the name and they make it a Tawbah. So, Muhammad, he made a treaty and he have no obligation no more to follow the treaty. Mm -hmm. Go for the coming four months and see killing as much as you want. You know? And you know, when, okay. and the funny is, uh, the, the reason the Quran is confusing, when you read verse number one, then verse number two, verse number three, you think they are coming in order. Right. And this is where the confusion came from. But the first, the, the fact that verse number one, is the last one in the in the in the, in the chapter, not the first one. Yeah, but 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 my question my question was I think I said it before. I know there's a lot of things in the Quran that says kill the kafar and the pagans or whatever. My friend, just but just to show you, just but to show these you. things are from just to show wars. You. How, though, right? this, is, this is the same chapter, chapter nine, verse number seven. How can there be a treaty with Allah and His Messenger for those for the idolaters? As a friendly way. No, he, how are you going to have a treaty with them? <laughs> you can't have a treaty with them. You cannot. Why? Because simply Muhammad, you see, that Muhammad is a is a deceiver. They, you know, they went to Putin, they told him, are you going to attack Ukraine? He said, he swear by Allah a thousand times. Then but second Putin day, is not a Muslim, he's a Christian. No, he is a Muslim because he do the act of Islam, my friend. He's a criminal. He's acting the act oh. of Islam, yes. So listen carefully here. Uh, uh, when Muhammad, he sent a letter to the king of the Roman, Convert okay. to Islam or die. Did he? Fight? Where did he say that? I heard you say that before. Where did he? I never saw any reference. Can you just show me that so I can be? Uh, do you watch? Uh, my, okay. Do, do you always watch my videos or only read my book? I watch your videos time to time, and I have some doubts about Islam, so that's why I wanted to call you because okay. I, like what they tell me is different from what you're showing me, and it's right. just messing with well, my mind. Are, this is the hadith. Uh, uh, Allah, uh, false messenger, he sent. A letter to the king of the Roman, and he said to him, Aslim to Aslim, a threat. You know, this guy never fought him, he never sent an army. The Roman never invade Mecca, they never occupy any territory. And they I have, can't see it, and they have no interest. Well, this is Sahih Muslim. Uh -huh. uh, sorry, this is uh, here, this is Adab al, al Mufrad, uh, uh, hadith number. Uh, 1109 but uh, you can you can find it in, in, in sahih uh, muslim too how many uh, how many battles did muhammad have in his uh, in his life my friend muhammad he, left, in muhammad he had zero battles he, ne he never he had zero he had zero because he never fought he sent but i thought he, 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 he went and attacked no, he, he, like when they say muhammad attack it's not muhammad and muhammad is a, is a, is a coward he don't dare to attack anyone. He never Okay, attacked. well, how many there's did his one, tribe? There's only one time where did. Muhammad was in the back and somebody threw a rock and he broke his four <laughs> teeth. That's why when he speak, he speak like Zach and Nike. He spit all over, you know? <laughs> okay, okay. Yeah. Well, I don't I'm, know if he said I'm teeth, not, though. I'm not, joking. I'm, I'm, not, I'm not joking, my friend. The, the hadith well, I thought says, it said the face. I no. know, I know, but it said face, not teeth, though. It said his face was dripping in blood. Okay, well, what, what, what they broke? They're, I don't know, something else. It's not his, I, but how do you know his teeth, though? Okay, well, uh, uh, what is the Ruba'iyah? 
Rabaiya, I do not have a clue. Hmm. Okay, let's see what the hadith says. Okay. Uh, oh, can you show me, uh, but before you go there, just show me where you threatened the, 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 is, the Christians. This is your fatwa. Thing. This is your fatwa here. A Muslim saying, well, you know, somebody said, uh, uh, somebody, uh, uh, let, let me let me find this is this is a fatwa. Somebody's asking, do you speak Arabic? Me? Yeah. Uh, no. No. Why you don't speak Arabic? <laughs> I don't speak Arabic because okay, I, listen, I'm listen. from Europe. Listen, listen. I'm going to ask Harut and Marut. You know. Uh huh. I will use. Uh, I will say some uh, black magic words, and you repeat after me. And right away, you will start speaking Arabic. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. Okay. Say. Let me offer. Let me open first the 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 chapter of Harut and Marut. Oh, well, you are guys. joking. You think I'm joking? This is my friend. We do this for a living, my friend. We are here doing black magic. You know, I have customers coming from around the world. You listen to me. I'm, 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 you know, this is not. Uh, this is true. So listen. Here, Allah, but I don't know. If, how does black magic exist in the 21st century? Show respect, please. Chapter two, verse one o two. Okay. They followed the evil ones, gave out falsely against the power of Solomon. You know the power of Solomon. He can sleep with ninety nine women, non stop. Yeah, okay. You know, yeah. He's he's like you know not so strong because I don't know why he could not finish you know, one hand. That was Shaitan came in the and image then, of him, right? But look, and then, but the evil ones teaching man magic. Who the evil one? But who teach the evil ones magic? Such a thing came down in the Babylon to the angel of the Babylon, Babylon, uh, uh, the angels Marut, Harut, and Marut. But neither of those taught anyone such a thing without saying, disclaimer, we are here for a trial. So don't do blasphemy. And they learned from them the means to sow discord between the man and the wife. Are you married? No, I'm not married, no. Okay, you know what? Thank God, because no, I don't want to. No, listen, I want you to get married because I want to show you my power now. I learned from how <laughs> my road how I can make you fight with your wife and get divorced. What do you think? What verse and chapter is this, by the way? This is the chapter of the cow, you know? The chapter yeah, of but the... what surah? The chapter of the cow. Uh, uh, surah, yeah. uh, 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 you know, surah is a chapter. Yeah, but what, like, what number? Surah, oh, what, like, verse six, mean, one verse, seven, huh? yeah. Okay, 102. 102, what's <laughs> the cow? 102, okay, I'll search up the cow, no problem. Yeah, by, by the way, do you know why your God, he called the chapter, this chapter, the cow chapter? Uh, no. No? No. Think again. Why you call this the chapter of the cow? I don't well, know. According to Allah, and this is the lovable, lovable book of God, a man, he killed somebody. He's a Jewish guy, you know? Right. They were fighting over a credit card, obviously. So this Jewish guy, uh -huh. you know, he killed, he was killed by other guy. He's a Jewish too. And then they want to know who killed this guy, you know? So they come to right. Moses and they told him, hey, Moses, can you ask your God to find who is the one? Uh, you know, who killed uh, this uh, guy, you know? So Moses, you know, he have a connection. He's a Jew, you know, they have connection everywhere. You know, in the White House, yeah. with Putin, everywhere. Like, wherever you go, the Jews have connection. And this, uh, Allah is no different. So, you know, uh, they con uh, he connect with Allah, and he told him, bring some beef. And uh, some, they say it was the penis of the cow. Some, they say the tail. Some, they say the tongue. <laughs> they bend in okay. the color. And then they say... So we say to strike the body with the piece of the haifar. You know, haifar is like a kind of, of cow they, to do haifaring thing, you know? So, and, uh -huh. uh, and this is how Allah, he raised people from death. Right. What do you mean, right? Okay. What do you think about well, this? Well, I mean, I understand what you said, but I'm kind of confused. How did he raise them up from dead by the piss of the cow? Not the piss, the, by beating him, by beating the guy. The guy is dead. He was killed by a, a dagger, you know? The guy, you know, you know, he told him, give me your wallet. The guy did not give him the wallet. Give me your credit card. He did not give him a credit card. The guy, he put a dagger in his, you know, in his pocket. Uh, you know, this is, you know, this because this guy is a Jew, you know, he, uh, you know, and so he killed him. And then the, you know, the Musas, you know, Moshe, 
he told Allah how we can get this guy to tell us how it happened. Allah, he told him, get some beef, you know. So Moses, he went all the way to India. He asked the Hindus permission to kill a cow. The Hindus refused. They said to him, we will go in war with you if you do that, because cow is very dear for us. So Moses, this is why Moshe, by the way, he used to be Indian, but he left because he cannot do it there. So he moved to a land, there's no Hindus. And then he killed the cow and he beat the guy. And then the guy, he come like, you know, zoom, you know, like he stand up. Like he just his yeah. head, you know, like his his half body. He stood, sat down, and he told him, "The guy who killed me, his name is Jack Shalom," and he died again. Wow. Okay. Yeah. That's. Uh, wow. Okay. Well, well no, seriously, so can, can you actually? Because I'm, I just like show me something else that will like give me more doubts. Because I'm so like. But listen, listen. This cow Allah thing he is raised people. The verse says. The verse says, if you open it. It says, and this is how Allah he raised people from death. How? By beating them by beef. Okay. I want you, I want you to help me here. Why God he raised people by beating them by beef? Why God raised people by death by beating them with beef? I don't know because uh, because that's just something he does. I don't know. I think this is the power of beef. <laughs> Possibly. <laughs> do you think? Do know. you think your God is a Hindu God? I think he's not a he's not a Hindu God. So why? God. I mean, why beef? Why why the cow? Why the cow? Because cows are just I don't know. His, I don't know. He used the cow. I don't know why. Why why not a turkey like Erdogan? You know. I don't know. I don't know. Okay. What about chicken well, like Kadarov? I don't know. Okay. I don't know. But CP, seriously, can you? I wanna. I I asked you this question at the start. Can you show me? Because I, I I asked a Muslim, my friend in Saudi Arabia. Yeah. He's a friend of me. He plays with me hmm. uh, on games and stuff. And I said to him, I asked him questions. Did Muhammad like? Is it true that Muhammad ever like killed people or whatever or killed somebody at least? And he said, No, hmm. he never did any such thing. So, is that true or is that false? Because well, I'm just confused. There is a story, you know, you see, as I said, Muhammad is a coward. He don't really, uh, he don't go for war, but he order killing. As an example, did you hear yeah. the story of Umm Qurfa? No, I haven't. Umm Qurfa, she was a very well-respected woman. And uh, she refused to <laughs> accept Muhammad as a prophet, you know? Right. And the Muslim report that Muhammad, he ordered this woman to be tied up between two camels. Between two camels. Okay. And he ordered the camels to run in two different directions. Why did he do, how, for what reason? He, he cut her two pieces alive. Yeah, but why? Because she refused him. She refused as a prophet. She, Muhammad, he waged war. Or a slave? Muhammad, no, she is a free woman. She is very well respected. Actually, she used to stop war. This is how much the Arab respect her. If she put, if she put her scarf between the two army, this is what she did according to Muslims once. She uh -huh. put her scarf between two armies, and she said, "The one who pass my scarf first is the one who disrespect me." So both army went home. Because nobody dared to disrespect her. This is how respected she is. So, Muhammad, because this woman, she refused to accept him as a prophet. He killed her by ripping her two part. And then he took her daughter to be a sex slave. And let me show you some reference. Wow. Okay. Um, I never knew that. <laughs> Thanks for telling me that. Yeah, let us see. Uh, I don't. Uh, I don't say things without giving proof. So let me give you a reference. Um, and not only she is a woman; she is a very old woman. Okay. Okay. I will use Google Translation to help you. Yeah. And I will post the link. Actually, I believe there is a book translated in English for this, but I don't know where the link it is for it. Uh, the book name at Tabaqat al Kubra, Muhammad ibn Sa'd, volume number two, page number 90. 
and I'm going to use Google Translation. Mm -hmm. Translate to Google. If you go to the end of the page, here it says, <clears throat> she was a very old Umukrifa. She was a very old woman and he killed her violently. He tied her legs with ropes. Then he tied her between two camels. And he, you know, the translation is not good here. And he make her to, to, to imagine how filthy he is. Yeah, but like, I don't, I, I just, I don't think this was, I don't think this is true, bro. This is obviously. My friend, this is, this is your books. Like, this is, is not this my books. You see, this is, the, this is the book, Muhammad ibn Sa'ad, at tabaqat al-Kubra. Very number two, page number 90. And this is exist in many Islamic books anyway. So if you say to me, I don't think it's true. Yeah, this is your, you want to play the game as all Muslim, they, they, they play. No problem. It's up to you. <laughs> no, yeah. but like, I'm just, you know, I'm just, because I never listen, heard this listen. before. So if this is a book written by a Christian prince. Then you have the right to say, well, it's not true. But if a Christian prince is quoting what is written by you Muslims, how you say to Christian prince, this is not true. Yeah, okay. You know what I mean? Okay. Why well, you okay, Muslim? Yeah, yeah. You know the Muslims are proud about their prophet very much. They worship him. So when, yeah. when those Muslims, they well, wrote we don't this, worship him. We just we no. You worship him. him. The truth is, you worship him. And when they wrote Freedom those stories, when they wrote those stories, the manner we are talking about today is not exist. And the Muslims are so proud about how he killed this woman. They are so excited. So for them, when they mention it. And this is the link I'm going to post it. I made short link because it's have an Arabic title. It's going to be long. I just posted the, the, the link for the reference, guys. So save it. So later, don't ask me for the reference about how Muhammad, he raped a woman, very old woman. Very. How old was she? Uh, according to my understanding, more than 86 something. Oh, wow. Yeah, so between 80 old. and 80, uh, maybe, maybe 90. There's no exact number to be sure from. But she, it, the, the book says clearly, very old woman. And this is a statement you don't say to someone is just 60, you know, very old. Is there, is there the reason in that, the reason for her killing is My friend, in that, there's um, no, there's thinking, no right? reason you can explain this. Let us say, let us say, first, she's a woman, correct? Secondly, she's yeah. old. Number three, uh -huh. if I was a leader of an army, and she is not really, I mean, she have a 13 a son, Muhammad, he killed them all, and he took the daughters. She have a daughter. She is very beautiful. He took her as a sex slave. Right. But there is no reason to do what he did. You want to kill her? Let us say a person was in war with me. You know, I was fighting mm -hmm. uh, 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 like uh, this family. You know, they are my enemies. And then I killed the 13 sons. Why I want to kill this old, very old woman? And in a, not only kill her, he tied her between two camels and he ripped her to pieces. This is not killing no more. This is torture. It's evil. Okay. The same Muhammad he did, there's a story about supposedly... Uh, uh, can I, I wanna, that, that, that post that you linked, is that Shia website? Yeah, but is this, is, this is the, the book is a Sunni, a Sunni book. But, but what if, uh, like, if this, I is show library. Some this is library? This is library. No, this but is... if I show some Sunni, they will say, "Oh, this is Shia," and you know, the, so. My you friend, know? my my friend, uh, uh, it, it, it doesn't does it really matter if even if it's Shia book or or Sunni book? Do the Shia? Well, Sunni. Do the Shia? Sunni say that the Shias lie. My friend, okay. What about the Sunni? But this, this is a this is first. This is a Shia library. They have all books. They have Al Bukhari. Is Al Bukhari book of Shia? No. They have Muslim. They have all books. But Shias don't uh, take Sahih Al Bukhari or Sahih Muslim. This right? is library, my friend. This is library. Oh, okay, library. library. Okay. This is okay. library. It's not. It's not about Shia. It's not about Sunni. It's not about you know. This is library. They have books. They have thousands and thousands of books. Okay. 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 Yeah. Uh, okay. Yeah. Uh, and the story about your prophet, you know, putting nails in the eyes of those shepherd who supposedly they killed the shepherd and run away, or um, um, people who left Islam, you know. Wait, wait, wait! They killed who? There's a bunch of guys. They came to Muhammad. They brought their animals and they convert to Islam. 
Muhammad, uh -huh. he told them to put their animals there, you know. Then they decide to run away. Obviously, they did not, you know, they found that Muhammad is a fraud. According to the Muslim stories. Uh, okay. But can you show me on what he put nails in their eyes? It's in the front of you. Okay, well, it's loading. Uh -huh. When they came first time to Muhammad, Muhammad, he ordered them to drink the camel urine, you know, which is very weird. And uh, to drink from the milk, you know. And then when they wake up in the morning, they decide uh -huh. to take their camels. The Muslim, they say they are stealing camels. But as I see here, those people, they come to him. Uh, it doesn't sound like they are stealing anything. But anyway, they, they took the camels and they killed one shepherd in order to, st to steal, according to Muslims. And then when Muhammad, he cut them, he cut their hands, he cut their feet, and he put nails after he put it in fire. And he, he you know, he, uh, uh, what they call it in, uh, in English, when you uh, blind somebody with, uh, uh, with nails, he gagged, gogged, he gogged out their eyes. Okay, gogged out, okay. Yeah. Yeah, okay. Um, this is and Sahih. And there's tons of example. All of this is Sahih. Well, how come nobody tells me the history of Muhammad? They keep saying, like, I went on YouTube to search his uh, documentary of his life, and the sheikhs and the imams are telling me his life, and they, everything's just, he's a peaceful man. I don't even understand how this is. Yeah, Muhammad is peaceful, but isn't, it, but isn't it the Quran says that those who do mischief in the earth cut their feet, cut their hands, cut their etc.? Yeah, yeah, but that mischief is like, uh, if you read the first verses of that, it says if you wage war, war, okay, against Muhammad and Allah. So it's not just like, uh, just go and killing them, if you wage war. Hmm. No. Wage, wage war in Islam is me. Now, I am, according to Muslims, I'm waging war, so I deserve a punishment, as the Quran says. Wage no, war is anyone, war. is anyone, no, anyone who oppose Allah, messenger, he is in war. And even if you don't actually oppose Allah, as long as you refuse to accept Islam, you're, you're at war. That's why the Quran, chapter 9, verse number 29 says, attack those who believe not in Allah in the last days. Not those who attack you, those who believe not. Just because you don't believe not, you are at war with them. But that's uh, that's um, uh, the war. That's the, that was a battle between uh, a Roman Christian thingy and no, my friend. That, uh, the, the one who started first of all, first of all, Muhammad he started killing the Christians and the Jews before he went to the Roman. And the Christian they never fought Muhammad. They never have a war with him, and there's no reason for him to kill them. And when he said, I "Kill them if they pay you jizya." Then don't, don't stop killing but, them. But uh, the, the, the speakers, the Dawah team in Speakers Corner in London, they said that um, they said that uh, all the all the wars or battles or whatever they threatened and they attacked uh, the Muslims. Well, I just showed you. Opposite, I just showed right? you the hadith where Muhammad he sent the letter to the Roman saying, "Become a Muslim, you will be safe." Aslam, Aslam. So it is yeah, Muhammad who sent Muhammad he sent a letter he sent two he sent letters to the Persian to the Roman and to the uh, did the Persian attack Muhammad no he attacked them uh, Persia is far away at the end of the war okay okay so why the Muslim army went there I mean I don't know Muslim lies but, but... the Muslim lies is bigger than the the biggest poopoo in the earth. So the, but the, maybe this was so, just one so time. So when the Muslims, when, when, the when Muhammad he sent his army to fight the Persian and the Roman and uh, to, to Egypt, you know, the ruler, ruler of, Egypt, of Egypt, he sent them gifts. He did not fight him. He sent them gifts. He sent them Maria the Copt and her cousins. As, Is it true that Egypt was never a Muslim country and it was forced by Muslims to sure, become Muslim? No, this is, this is the land of the Coptic and the Coptic were occupied by the, by the Roman. But the Roman of, uh, of, uh, of that territory, the Roman ruler, he was a friend to Muhammad. He sent him a gift. Muhammad, you cannot, you cannot trust Muhammad. He take your gift, second day he go and kill you. So they never fought him. Name for me, when the Egypt attack, 
the Roman in Egypt attack Muhammad never. How they can so do the, so? The how, how even they can, the how even they can the do so, my Egypt. friend? There is there is a sea between them. Egypt is not in the border of Saudi Arabia. But how did they manage to attack Egypt then? They took the you know they they, they attack in uh, uh, they took the Boats. they took the Jordan they take Syria and then they invade you know they went all the way to Egypt. Anywhere they can cross the sea. Okay. Yeah. I don't know. I'm just, I'm just confused. So what do you think? Because like I pray to... every, I pray like five times a day, and I like wake up for Fajr every morning. Why you pray five times a day? Five. Why you pray five times a day? Uh, because I'm very strict about my religion, and I just like. Okay, um... where in the Quran it says pray five times? <laughs> oh my God! Why did I have to say that? Because I. Cause I I know it says three times in the Quran, but it's like there's five five names of the prayers mentioned in the Quran. What, what five prayer? Wait, can you show me the five prayer mentioned in the Quran? I think there's a, there's a verse in the Quran that mentions all the prayers. No. Uh, teach me. I want to learn. I don't know the verse, but and you know you see. Okay, you know Mimi Hijab. Mimi Hijab. He says the Quran says if this is a book made by other than Allah, is going to be. Uh, not from God. Contra there's a contradiction. If there's a contradiction, correct? Okay. Okay. So if you say to me, there's verse mention five prayer, and then the Quran says pray three times, well, two at the end of the day, and one in the you know in the approach of the night. Uh, well, maybe you join. Maybe you put two prayers in one prayer. You know, and in the last night prayers, maybe no, just one prayer. Here we go. It says this is Allah. He is ordering them how many time to pray. Establish a prayer. The two end of the day, this is mean the end of the day and the beginning of the day. You know, according to Muhammad, when the sun rise, you know, this is end of a okay. day. And when the sun set, this is the other end of a day. You know, okay. so there's two end of the day and th those you pray on them. And when the night approach, so three times. The one who make it five, it was Moses. When Muhammad, he went to Allah, supposedly, and Allah enjoyed Muhammad with 50 prayer. Then uh, Moshe, okay. Moshe, you know, the, the Jewish guy, he have a calculator, you know, the Jews, they have calculator. So he said to him, Khabibi Muhammad, how you can pray 50 times? So you're a prophet, he went back to Allah and he asked him for discount. Have you ever heard okay. of a God, he get discount from 50 to 5? Uh, well... Well, it's just how God does. I mean, why can't I mean in the Bible God changes his mind a lot about different no, things too, right? No, no. Yes, when Moses came to ask Jesus about uh <clears throat> to not kill or punish some type of people, and then God yeah. said don't kill them or something. Okay, but this did not change his mind. This did not change his mind. Well, it was his order was first to no, kill no, them, no, and no, Moses no, asked Jesus no, to this, not kill them. This is what uh, asked Jesus. What what are you talking about? Listen. So, oh God! No, if you want to give me something, uh, give me a reference so we can read, and we, we you will see that you are wrong. But here, this God he told Muhammad fifty prayer, right? Okay. Okay. But what's wrong with God changing his mind? It's I not mean, about changing it, his it, mind. It's not, not not about changing his mind. I mean, the guy you just gave him fifty prayer. Why you gave him fifty prayer if he cannot do it? Because the Muslims won't be able to do fifty. There's Muslims okay, today you. that can't so even do five. You are saying that Allah is wrong. So Muslims <clears throat> cannot do 50, you know? No, he wasn't wrong. He wasn't wrong. Uh, I, I, he was just, it was just maybe, I don't know. It's just something that you just said. said. You just said the Muslims cannot do 50, correct? It'll be very really hard, yeah. No, it's not very really hard. It's, uh, it's, it's impossible. How many hours a day? You sleep eight hours, right? Yeah. Okay, at least. I mean, some people sleep more. Yeah, okay. Yeah. So if we have 16 hours, I'm going to use a calculator. This is made by the, the Christians. Uh, mm -hmm. This is why the numbers will be false now because the Christian calculator is wrong, you know. So if we have 16 hours left and we have 50, 50 prayer, so we are going to divide 50 to 16. Yeah, but one prayer for me takes like maybe, uh, maybe like eight minutes maybe seven minutes okay eight minutes or seven minutes but you need to do evolution before the prayer correct yeah but not all not every not every time before you pray it just depends if you went to the toilet beforehand so you spend the whole day you don't go to the toilet no but like if i'm praying five times a day i don't i maybe have to do if you touch like your if you touch your wife you have to do evolution 
just well, touch luckily her hand. I don't have a wife. So uh, you know, if good. you touch your mother, you know, you 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 have to do ablution. Uh, but anyway, okay, okay, so ablution. fifty okay, times, fifty times, divide to sixteen. This is without the ablution. That means you okay. have to pray three times an hour. Correct. Okay. Okay. That means you have to pray every twenty minutes. No, not three times an hour. Why? Why do you say three times an hour? Fifteen divided to sixteen. We said we sleep eight hours, at least. Okay. I mean, you might people don't sleep eight hours really. I mean, if you are. Well, I sleep. I know I sleep about nine, nine and a half. Yeah, I sleep twenty-four hours. You know, I'm talking to you now, sleeping by the way. <laughs> yeah. I'm sleep. Amen. I'm a sleeping, talking person. As you really, you know, he's talking to you now. So, uh, so this is impossible. And even the Hadith says that, you know, the Musa, he told Muhammad, well, your people cannot do that, right? And obviously right. Muhammad is convinced, my people cannot do that. So Musa, he told him, go back to Allah and ask him to lower it. So from 50 to five. Why Allah don't give oh, him five from the beginning? I mean, what, not, yeah. and how Musa is there, by the way, isn't Musa is dead? Oh, his spirit is there. Huh? No, his spirit is no, there. No, he, he did not see his spirit. He see he, his spirit. He, his spirit is there. Yeah, that's what I said. His spirit that's, is there. That's that's false, my friend. Because resurrection, after resurrection, prophets and a human being, all of them, their their body resurrected with the soul and then reunited. Oh, mean. that reminds me of a question. Uh, I heard you say uh, in one of your videos to a guy that. <clears throat> Uh, in in the surah in the Quran, it says that Muhammad before Muhammad, all messengers passed away. Before what? Before Muhammad, all messengers pass away. Yeah, the Quran says that, not me. Yeah, but the is that but in the English translation, it's, it doesn't say all. Well, this is false translation some... as usual. What do you expect? It says قد, 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 قد is harf istihqaq. قد خلت. Okay. Which means it's already accomplished. All messengers before them did pass away. Chapter 3. Okay. Chapter 3, verse 144. Uh, chapter 5, verse number 75. Like here, chapter 5, verse number 75 it says, And the Messiah, the son of Maryam, he is just a messenger. And all messengers before him, they pass away. Let's click at the translation. Okay. The Muslim translation they say many messengers were uh, pass away, but that's not true. There's nowhere the word many is exist. And I change any Muslim to show me where the <coughs> word many is exist. It says Qad khalat min qablihi. All messengers before him they pass away. You change the translator. This is Yusuf Ali. Let's see the from one. Let's see this okay. guy Sarwar. You know. Well, Mary so all messengers was right? no Amen. more, was more than the messenger before whom uh, uh, lived many other messengers. What is that? <laughs> this translation is using Google, maybe. Let us uh, use different idiot. Uh, Shakar. Okay. Uh, apostle before him have indeed passed away. The apostle, all of them. So, uh, and this is contradiction because even Muslim they claim that there's a prophet. His name is Idris. Allah, he took him up to heaven. So, is Idris in heaven or not? They will say, well, the Quran is not making it clear. Then, yeah, but it says before whom there lived many, many other messengers. That doesn't mean all. Many means like just like no, my uh, friend, my friend. Like the, the word many is not exist. You can you can take this. Uh, there is a Muslim website, Islam, I think, Quran.com, something like this. You can move the, uh, the mouse over the word and they will explain, they will translate word okay, by word. Okay, I believe you, I believe you. Yeah. It's no, no, Arabic, you don't right? need to believe so, okay. me, my friend. You don't need to believe me. You can ask anyone. <laughs> Go right now to ask anyone or even those who you claim that they are teaching in the speaker corner. Tell them, can you show me the word many? Hey, well, this is a verse in front of us. And here we go. I have, uh, we have almost 1400 Muslims or uh, I don't know how many and more later. I challenge, I have a challenge to any Muslim to show me the word many. Where is the word many? Where is many? Okay. There's no many. 
messengers before him they pass away which mean all of them and this is the same goes for the verses about Muhammad and is Jesus dead in Islam or is he no he's like, alive you're, I know you're the, a Muslim I know, I know. you do not know that you are eating too I much hummus the Quran it says that Ch chapter but... 3 listen chapter 3 verse 144 says he Muhammad, was, yeah, I know was, Muhammad is no more than a messenger here, but I'm saying that like if this verse says it then how come the other verse says he wasn't dead how come what if this verse says that he he didn't like many messengers, like all messengers, according to you, died, but in the other verse, it one in the verse in the Quran, it says that um, he was made to appear to the Jews that he was. Yeah, we don't want to mix a topic now. Just focus with me one thing. So Muhammad is no more than a messenger, and here they insert the word many, and I want you. Do you have a shake? Yeah, in the mosque. Can yes. you call him to join us? <laughs> How am I meant to call him? Like, why not? Because we want to show you. We want to show you that Muslims they lie. Speaker, they yes. lie to you as a Muslim, and there is no many. Okay, I'll ask him. He speaks Arabic. He's from Algeria, so I'll, okay, I'll no, show him. No, don't ask him. Call him. Call him now. Just uh, you can ask him later. No problem. But can't you call him now? <laughs> yeah, just, just, because we want everybody to see. Because either I am making things up, or they are making things up. Well, why here it says many? Where is the where is the many? Where is the word many? Why Muslims? Well, are... How do you say many in Arabic? How do you say the word many? Uh, kathiron. Okay, and that's A not lot. in the Arabic. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Well, okay, it's okay. I, I believe you. I believe you. So. No, I don't want you just I to don't believe think, me. I don't think he will answer because the guy is busy and he's probably in prayer. He's busy. He's four wives making babies and getting welfare from the no, government. No, he's a imam. He, he leads prayers. And he's in work too, probably. I don't well, know. So. What lead the prayer? I mean, he just bent over, he makes some fart and he makes money. What does that mean? Is that a job? <laughs> I don't know. Well, my friend, isn't the Muslim they pray five times a day? Yes, okay. obviously. And he prayed five times a day. So how that he became something special? He's just a person. He bent in the front of them. By the way, about bending, is it true that Muslims they get excited when they see the ass of a man in front of them and he bent? No. Okay. Can you explain to me this hadith then? A bunch of Muslims they come to the caliphate, Omar, and they were complaining that there's a Muslim imam. Who have a nice ass and he is in the, they get tempted by his ass and they claim he is a feminist so they are upset right, uh, yeah. because this person he is uh you know tempting them and they you know they get horny so uh, okay yeah let us let us see uh the hadith here okay here we go this is sahih okay. bukhari and this is sahih hadith <clears throat> i went to uthman ibn affan sorry uthman not omar Uthman, not Ibn Farooq, the one who somebody did, uh, you know, make fun of him. Uh, I went to Uthman bin Affan while he was uh, be assigned, which means he became the Khalifa, and said to him, you are the chief of the Muslims in general, and you see what be fearing to you. We are led the Salat in a prayer by a leader of Al-Fitna. Al-Fitna, do you know what Fitna mean? Fitna? Yeah. Uh, no. It, it, a temptation, a, a troublemaker, you know, like he's a person, he tempt people, you know. Uh, okay. here, here between two brackets says trial, affliction, etc. So the Muslim now they are suffering from affliction, brother. Trial, why? Oh, the, the story will continue. And we are mm. afraid of being sinful. Man, they are afraid of being sinful. Why? In following him, what the heck? Uthman, he said, Salat is, you see the word Salat is a prayer. The Muslim, they say when Muhammad, Allah, he do Salat to Muhammad, they mean it says a blessing, but Salat is a prayer. It is the best of all deeds. So when the people do good deed, we'll do the same with them. And when they do bad deed, avoid those bad deeds. Then as Zuhuri, he said, in our opinion, one should not offer Salat behind a feminine person unless there is no alternative. So look what happened. Right. The guy is effeminate. He did not do anything. He, you know, he is, uh, you know, like he have, uh, he's soft like a female, maybe, you know, maybe he don't have a beard, he don't have <laughs> hair in his leg or etc. So all what he did, he is leading the prayer now. He's the imam. He bent over and the Muslim, they are in trial. Read with me carefully. Trials and affliction and etc. And we, f we are afraid of being sinful following him. 
you know so why they are afraid you know why they are in trial because the guy is bending over who is the gay here right. the gay is those Muslims. <laughs> it's not the guy because the guy he did not do anything the guy he just bent over to pray the one who get tempted is the Muslim behind him who claim that they are not gays right. I want to ask you when I said to you do you Muslims get tempted when they see an ass of a man in front of them you said no correct yeah so why those people are they are afraid to do sin <laughs> because uh i don't know obviously i i don't know I, I, there's so many hadiths i will bro, give you three I just, options i don't know maybe his ass is round and nice and maybe his oh, ass okay. is big and beautiful or maybe his ass is very attractive to them otherwise why i mean the guy he did nothing well, maybe it's just, maybe you don't know anything. I don't know. You can't just say those three examples because they could be more. My friend, the guy, he did not do anything. Do you see anything? All what they are doing, he is saying, he is effeminate. He, didn't, he did not do anything. He did not do anything. He did not take off his clothes. He is not showing his bum. Like what he's doing? <laughs> maybe, he's, maybe he's wearing a very short jalabia and when he bent over, they see his butt. I don't know. Mm. Um, is it true? Yeah, I don't know. Is it true that shaitan he take care from the Muslim ass when they pray? I heard you say this before. Yeah, yeah. It's true. Okay, CP. I, 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 can you? Because Allah in the Quran says if uh, no, no, hold if this on, book hold on, hold on, hold on. So is it true that shaitan take care from the anus of Muslims when they pray? Yes or no? Yeah, I heard you say this before. I know, yeah. but that's, I'm not saying if you heard it or not. I'm asking you. Did you experience? Is it true? Yeah. I I don't believe so. No, I okay. think that hadith is obviously made up. Oh, it's made up. Made up by who? By yeah. the Muslim. He, the Muslim they made up hadith. Well, Bukhari came like one eighty years after, almost two hundred years after Muhammad, uh -huh. and I just I just That's some deep. I believe are some I I believe that are made up because there's so many weird things that are written in hadith that I just so, I don't know. So what the Muslim do, and you are not different, obviously. You know, any hadith will make Muhammad look like a stupid. <clears throat> no, say, it's not that. Well, I don't know. First of all, my friend, this is not a true. It's proven scientifically that Muslims, when they pray, shaitan take care from their anus. There is a scientist. He's from Japan. His name is Mr. Honda Suzuki Yamayama to Toyota. He said okay. that they made a scientific study and they put a, like a slow, very slow motion camera, you know, and they notice the shaitan is invisible. Remember that. Shaitan is right. invisible. So they notice that when a Muslim, he bent over to pray, uh, Shaitan, he uh, come and uh, he take hair from the Muslim anus and he caused them to fart, you know? And the, he was Satan, here we go. Verily, Allah Prophet says, Verily, Satan, he come to you while you are in prayer and uh, then he take, uh, uh, you know, uh, uh, hair from your anus from your buttocks and he stretch it this this is painful by the way i mean this is really painful yeah don't try it okay, okay? and and he stretch it and he see the worshiper uh, until like he keep doing that until he caused the worshiper to break wind uh, and the wind is coming out from his anus so you are confirming to me that you never experienced such a thing no never ever not i don't once. think i don't think there is a muslim i i just i don't know like i don't I mostly go off to Quran to be honest with you because the hadiths, like I believe some hadiths, but hmm. stories like these just make it a bit, I don't know. I don't know. I notice when I go to the mosque, when I used to be in the Middle East, I always go to pee in the mosque. And I notice how bad the smell is inside the mosque. And I think to myself, maybe the Prophet was truthful. This is why the mosque smells so bad. Everybody is farting because shaitan, he will not stop until he cause you fart, you know? But anyway, you right. know better because you are a Muslim. So, uh, after all what I said to you until well, now, I don't know this much, until yeah. now you are not convinced that Islam is false? Well, yeah, like uh, my main thing here was just to see if Muhammad like killed people or whatever and jihad, but I wanted to ask you just there, uh, if, um, because most, uh, like, if the Quran, <laughs> if the Quran has no mistakes, right, and no contradictions, mm. then, then, then that's what Allah says in the Quran. He says, if there's any mistake or contradiction, then it's not for me. So can you prove that statement? 
Well, mistakes, contradiction. I mean, I just showed you the, the bees. The Quran saying that bees eat, uh, eat, yeah, eat fruit and the Yeah, but that's something pizza. that I just have to okay. think about. Just show me something that makes sense. All right. Because I will if, show you if makes, something makes sense. Because one mistake is but, too but much first, But first, I want you to understand my situation. I just received a message that my grandfather, he passed away. And he actually, they noticed, they told me that he died, died a year ago. And nobody noticed he's dead. Why? Because he was holding his, you know, he was an old man, you know. So he was holding a staff in his hand and nobody noticed that he's dead. What do you think about this story? For a year, my grandmother, she did not notice he's dead. For one year, For, he was on a on a stick and he, yeah. he was holding a stick. He yes. could, nobody yes. saw he and was my, dead. My grandmother, everybody, the cousins, everybody come, say hello, grandfather. Nobody noticed that he's dead. What do you think about it? Well, I, I, if it's true, then I mean, what can I, like... I don't know. Did it happen or are you just joking? No, it's a true story. You know, my, my grandfather will never lie. You know, you know, my grandfather only she lied to my grandfather and the neighbors. You know, she don't lie to any people like, you know, only the only my grandfather. Was she... he standing? Was he standing up for one year and he was dead for one year holding a stick? He, he was standing for one year. Okay, holding well, stick. if he was standing, that's just impossible because your body will drop if he was dead. Are you kidding me? Yes, I'm not kidding you. Well, Obviously, it's not, like, I mean, how can you stay? I mean, you know, you're dead. First, first, I thought you were a nice guy. You will not hurt my feeling. I was talking about my grandmother. And look what you told me now. She is telling a lie. No, I'm not saying that. I'm just saying that, like, you asked me what do I think, so I taught you what I think, right? Okay, so you are being honest with me now. <laughs> yeah. It's okay. impossible. Well, this Once story you're is, dead, you're, well, this you're, story is in the Quran. This story is in the Quran, chapter thirty-four, verse number fourteen. Oh my God! You set me up, bro. You set me up. Exactly, so exactly, bad. brother. This is the candy. Do, this is the candy do, camera program, sorry. brother. This is candy camera program. <laughs> <laughs> I should have been. I always thought I was one step ahead of you, but yeah, you mm. got me. Okay. Okay. Um, so, so what do you think now? This is a story is in the Quran. And okay. nobody noticed, nobody noticed how he's dead. Enter the termite, they ate his steak. When he ate the steak, when the termite they ate the steak, he fell down. Um, when he fell down, saw plainly that if they had not seen, they would not have tired him. I don't see where it says one year. Well, this is in the interpretation according to your prophet. It was one year, almost one year. But anyway, okay. think about it. You have a, you know, you, this is a king. What do you think? What kind of uh -huh. what kind of wood he will use? You know, he will use a very fancy wood, right? Okay. Something not uh, cheap wood will die. You know, I mean, so it's very fancy wood, and mostly is covered by gold and silver. You never know. This is his staff, the king. So uh, uh, he died standing, holding the stick, and then the termite they start chewing. You know, they, they chew very. You know, the termite they are small. And their meal is like you know, like one bite a day, you know, something like this. So it took them according to the interpretation, and let me go and open the inter inter interpretation, chapter thirty-four, verse number fourteen. This is Ibn Kathir, you know, uh, thirty-four, and here number fourteen. And but here, what if this was a miracle done by Allah? You never know. Absolutely, it's a miracle. I mean, the termite, they work with Allah, and the guy, nobody noticed. My friend, a second ago, you told me that uh, the guy, you know, uh, no, um, people will notice. And Okay, the wife, she come to talk to the man. He's dead standing. She, didn't she notice that this guy is not answering? But how do you know she came to talk to him? Well, he have wives. He have many wives. He's a king. <laughs> Okay, okay, I get The guy is a okay. king. He's not a guy who lives alone in a house in the middle of nowhere. He's a king. He have a kingdom, you know? Okay. And look here, brother. Just read with me. It says here in the standard in the interpretation. Okay. Okay. Allah tell us how Suleiman, peace be upon him, he died and how Allah concealed his death. What, uh, before, what, what uh, tafsir is this? This is tafsir uh, uh, Ibn Kathir. Ibn Kathir? Yeah. Okay. Ibn Kathir is the neighbor of Kathir, you know? His name, okay. because the neighbor, his name is Kathir, and he was sleeping with the, his mother. That's why he's Ibn Kathir. So he's the son of the neighbor. So anyway, okay. uh, how Suleiman, peace be upon him, died and Allah concealed his death from the jinn, who were subjugated to him to do hard labor, 
That's deep. You know, I have Genie work for me, by the way, in the yard now. He remained leaning on his stick, leaning in his stick. Look at this, which he wa was his staff. Ibn Abbas, Ibn Abbas is the cousin of your prophet. May Allah pleased okay. with him, said, and Mujahid, those are companion, and Al Hassan and Qutada, blah, 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 blah. And by the way, Imam Murrah there too. And others said, he stayed, he stayed like a that. Long time, you know, yeah, yeah, I see, I he see, stayed yeah. like that for a long time, nearly okay. a year. <laughs> <laughs> nearly a year okay, okay. and listen no no brother the story is not over right and when the creature of the earth brother which was kind of warm like termite who ate through the stick it become weak and he fell in the ground and become apparent that he died what do you think about this story um 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 i uh, no, hold on, no, hold on. I'm just after, it, after this amazing story, just... you are saying to me, um, if I am you, I will use all the alphabet. I will say A, B, C, D, F, Y, M. <laughs> this is what you come with? I, M I'm, alone? This I'm, is a miracle, brother. No. Like um, I just, what M? I'm what just... M? What M? What hum? I'm really upset from you now. This is a miracle. <laughs> we'll take you all the alphabet. You cannot express how beautiful it is. Unbelievable. Termite. Look, look who is the, hori, the, 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 the hero of the stories. Allah, Suleiman, the stick, and termite. And genie, for yeah, sure. Don't forget how, the genie. The, the crowd is the genie. How do we not know it happened, though? Huh? <laughs> how do we not know it didn't happen, though? My friend, if you don't believe in such a garbage, there's nobody can make you... You know, I don't know. I, I, I did my part. Obviously, you don't want to be convinced. It's up to you. But you know, those, obviously, this is No, stupid. but I said contradictions because this is just a story. I mean, this my, makes the my, story... My friend, my friend, contradiction. This is contradiction. This is contradiction. Because why did not notice that he did not? Or he's not dead. Why did not notice? Not because Allah made them not to notice. Because he is standing, leaning in his stick. Can you, can you show me about the baby verse? The, how the baby is made in um, in twenty three fourteen of the Quran. Uh, yeah. <laughs> first, first of all, who made the baby? Who made the baby? It was the parents, right? No, the Quran says that the one who made the baby is the best of the creators. Okay. Okay. Best of the creators. Mm -hmm. What do you mean? Well, according to Muslims, there's many creators and Allah is the best. No, we have one creator. Okay, you mentioned to me contradiction, correct? Yeah. Okay. If Allah, he mentioned that he is the creator, and then he say he is the best of the creators, is that contradiction? If Allah says what, sorry? If Allah, he said, I am the creator. Uh-huh. Okay. And then in different place, he said, I am the best of the creators. Where does he say I am the, the creator? Where? Chapter 23, verse number 14. And this is where he speak about the baby creation. Yeah, but where, and this is the best of the creators I see on the screen. But, but where does he say I'm the only creator or the creator? Oh, okay. So uh, uh, let us see. We go here. Different verse because I heard you say Ahad does not mean one also. Yeah, but this is another, another story. Yeah. But if we go, chapter 2, verse number 29, it says, It is him who created everything in earth. Okay. Okay. Is that confirmed that he is the only one who created everything? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, yeah. And then if we go to the other verse, it says he is the best of the creators. So which one of them is true? Yeah, but humans are creators. No, in no, a way my friend, no, we... no. You see, creator in a in a in a, in a term of a religion is somebody. <clears throat> why here he is talking about creating the baby. Creator is someone who can give life, not somebody he made a bicycle. This is not a creation. This is a creative, not a creation. Being creative is to use material we have. You know to make a machine but the machine is not uh, heart and blood and and that's why the quran in different verse says are you going to worship gods who cannot even make a fly okay okay so the quran confirm that the one who deserves to be worshipped is the one who can make a fly this is a chapter okay. 
This is the chapter 22, verse number 73. So uh, uh, he said to them, are you going, are you going, are you calling, which means God, instead of Allah, those gods who don't have a power even to create even a fly? Okay. So if you create a fly, you deserve <clears throat> to be worshipped, correct? Yeah, okay. according to that verse, yeah. All right. This is a chapter 22, verse number 73. Now we go to the other verse. And then when Allah, he says, Allah is the one who creates everything in earth. So he confirmed that there's no other person who created be beside him. And then we go to the other person, and this, this is chapter, 20, chapter 2, verse 29. And then we go to the other verse here, chapter 23, verse number 14, where it says Allah is the best of the creators. So is Allah is the only one who creates everything in the earth? Or Allah is the best of the creators who create many things in the earth? Um, I don't know what he means by creators, though. What does that mean? Creators mean creators. I mean, come on, even this one, we need need a dictionary. The, the creators. <laughs> yeah, okay, well... Uh, well, I'll ask the, the Imam, but because I never heard of this thing, so... No, hold on. Why you need to ask? You can ask an Imam as you wish. This is not my business now. But I'm asking yeah. you why you need even to ask an Imam about such a thing. It says creators. He will say to you the same. He will say to you bicycle. Somebody made a bicycle. But they can't explain yeah. it. But creator, I just showed you, according to Islam, the one who is a creator is the one who can create a fly. Quran, okay, yeah, yeah, Quran okay. give definition yeah. for that, not me. So okay. making a bicycle is not a creator. This is a creative. Building a house yeah. and being a creative. Uh, uh, you know, making a truck. This is yeah. a creative. No, because we have all the elements on earth anyway, so we just make things, put them together, okay. right? Now, the one who can create a fly is the creator, and yeah. Allah is saying he is the best of the creators. That means <clears throat> there's others who they are a creator too. Okay. This is the contradiction. Well, now, hold on. We just, we just, <laughs> we just showed you the verse where it says, if you can create a fly, yeah. You are God, right? Yeah. Okay, chapter 22, verse number 73. But isn't the Quran says that Jesus, he created from the mother bird? Yeah. Okay, so the one who can by create whose, a fly. But, 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 but by whose will though? At the, at the end of that. Doesn't matter. Verse? Who is the creator now? Jesus. The, the, the Quran claimed that uh, Allah gave Jesus the power. No problem. But he have it now. He's a creator. All right, okay. Okay, so how Allah is the only creator who created everything in the earth, and Jesus, he created birds. So he did not, Allah did not create everything in earth. Uh, but, but he did, like, oh, I'm, <laughs> but Jesus only made a bird, though, not My friend, earth. my friend, if he made one bird or 10,000 chicken, doesn't matter. Is everything in earth is made by Allah or there is some yeah. of it or something, some of it made by Jesus? Well, there was one fly that was made by G, by, I mean, one bird made by Jesus. First of all, Jesus. where it says there's only one fly or one bird, where it says that? <laughs> it says, I create for you, I create for you from the mud, a bird, I breathe in it. A bird, yeah. Yeah. A bird, so, not does, birds. It doesn't matter. You know, he's saying, I create for you a, a bird. Okay. A, a person okay. who can create a bird, he can create birds. Okay. Or what you need to do is just fashion ten uh, 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 piece of mud, mud yeah. and breathe, and he breathe, and, and he breathe. You know, I, I breathe, okay. and I breathe into it. Okay. So the Quran okay. is a full of, is a full of contradiction stories because if Allah is the only one can create, then why Jesus have the ability of a creation? And if you say, well, Allah He gave him the power, that will not change the fact. First of all, there's no proof that Allah gave him any power. This is one man claim after after Jesus, 600 years. But that what will confirm to us that Jesus is a very special person, no one like him. He is the only one between all who so-called messengers in Islam. He can create from the mother bird. He can make the blind see. He can resurrect people from death. Nobody ever can do that. So here yeah. we see that even Jesus can tell you what you hide in your houses. Muhammad, he cannot. So Jesus, he have the he have the knowledge of the unseen. The Quran says only Allah have knowledge of unseen. 
Jesus, he can resurrect people from death, and the Quran says only God can resurrect. And Jesus can create, and the Quran says only God can create. All of this is contradiction. And then you ask yourself, why Jesus have all this power and Muhammad have zero? While Muhammad was busy swearing by the fig, Jesus was making the blind see, making the dead alive, creating birds from the clay, and healing thousands of people. So why Jesus is all of those and Muhammad is zero? And why Jesus is the creator? Why Allah, why Allah gave him the ability for creation? What is the point? Uh, miracles to okay. show people what why he did not give in. it to anyone else. Why he did not give it to Muhammad? Muhammad, Muhammad the Muslim believe that Muhammad, his children, they die, and he was crying so hard. Correct? Yeah. Okay. If Jesus was there, he can touch the kid and he make him alive. But you said in one in the book, uh, in one of the books on your videos, that mo to a guy that Muhammad has no children, that this was Fatima's previous I'm husband's about, children. I'm talking about your belief, not my belief. I believe Muhammad's penis never worked. I can prove it. Okay. Muhammad himself, okay. he says, I was the most weak person between mankind. And then right. I invoke my God and he sent me a dish of shish kebab. Well, it kind of uh, makes, it kind of uh, makes sense too, because... Um, Khatija was in her 40s, right? So how could she get She was old, she cannot have children? kids. Yes, she cannot have kids. And uh, Fatima, she was the youngest. This is why she, she is considered like a child for Muhammad, because she grew in his uh, in his lap, let us say, you know? So, yeah, okay. uh, but she is not really his child, you know? She is not. Muhammad cannot have kids. Uh, Can you uh, just go to 23, 14, and just explain to that, to me how the baby is made? Because we do not Allah need to go to, no we, do not, we do not need to go to different verse. The same verse, the one we mentioned to you about creating the baby, Allah is the best of the creators. Is the no, same. but not the creators, I, uh, about I know, how the I know. baby it's is about, made. About because... the baby, about the baby. Yes, the baby here, if you go here, let's see. The same one it says that you said it's uh you said that it goes into dead blood and and something like that yeah the same one mentioned al khaliqin which means the creators is the same yeah. ones making that popo here we go chapter 23 verse number 14 and mentioned in different verse 2. here it says and we made the notfa into a clot a piece of thick congealed blood <clears throat> do you see it what is what is notfa mean uh notfa is a sperm Notfa okay. is a water. And what's the congealed is, is, blood is a, is a in Notfa is a liquid, you know, of uh, semen. Yeah, no? yeah. And what's the congealed blood in Arabic? Mudra. Alaka, sorry. Alaka. 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 Okay. Alaka. When, you, when means... you get when you get injured, when you get injured, and the blood make uh, like uh, dead blood in the top, like a batch over your skin. Dried blood. Dried blood. Yeah. Right. This is alaka. Okay. Okay. So, and Bob, why does uh, Sheikh, uh, I mean, uh, yeah, Sheikh Uthman, I've been watching him for two years, and he says that this this is a very big miracle because he said that alaka means like a leech and the baby in the womb is, is when, shaped when he like say, that. When he say like a leech, where in the verse it says like a leech? Where is the word? Well, he said a leech, like, you know. See, we made it, and you see, we made it alaka. The sperm became a alaka, the sir, sperm. So the stupid guy, you are talking about him, he just told you that the, the sperm become dead blood. But he says alaka means, he didn't, I never heard him say alaka means dead blood. I mean, my friend, blood. my friend, who is this guy even to say what to say? This is the Muslim translation and I can show you the interpretation. Who translated alaka, this? Alaka, the, uh, this is here translation. I don't care for translation, by the way. I can't change it for you. But who you okay. who you list, who you consider to be uh, a person who knows a About guy who does not even know how to read the Quran, who cannot even write it. When the, when two Christian they come to him and they show him, they ask him to write. He have to look at the Quran so he can copy the word. He can't even write it. So, or right. your scholars. My scholars, obviously. Okay, which scholars you want me to show you? Name one. Um, anyone? Anyone? I heard of this one. His, uh, name, his, his, his name is anyone. I know him. Okay, hold on. No, this no, is a chapter uh, twenty-three. No. Hold on, I will show you anyone. Okay, it, I will show you okay. anyone. No problem. Anyone is good. Anyone? What's wrong with anyone? But you said let me choose. I'm gonna choose. Okay, I, I ask you to choose. You said anyone. Okay, Ibn Abbas or Jalalain. Okay, Ibn Abbas. Ibn Abbas. Okay. Yeah. 
Ibn Abbas is anyone anyway. I mean, we never met him. He can't be anything. So this is Ibn Abbas. All right. He's like the biggest scholar in Islam, right? Okay, exactly, biggest... exactly. He's the cousin of Muhammad. Read with me. This is Ibn Abbas. He said, then we fashioned, we transformed the drop into a clot. You see the word clot? Yeah. Clot. But what does that clot mean? A clot. What does it mean by clot? A clot is a solid blood. Clot. Okay. Okay. Don't you know what a clot? Go to dictionary, open it. And I know what a clot is, okay. but, but, yeah, but like, no, clot, how does that, how a does human that being, mean he died by heart attack happened by a clot, <clears throat> right? Right. Okay, what is the clot? The clot. The clot. A dead blood going in your vein, right? Into a clot, okay. Okay, for another 40 days, so according to Muhammad too, because there's a hadith about it, we can show you. Oh, okay, a clot in the body, okay, okay. <clears> yeah. yeah, okay, go on. So here he was saying that, the sperm become a dead blood for 40 days. And then he fashioned it, the clot, into a little lump for another 40 days. And then we fashioned the lump uh, into bones uh -huh. without flesh. No. And then at the end, the flesh came. So here, listen carefully. You said Ibn Abbas, but, but, Ibn um, Abbas. Do you want me to show you? Do uh, bones not grow first and then flesh after? My friend, they the together? process of a baby, everything is, is developing in the same time. So uh, the cells, they start being, uh, uh, you know, like exist in the early stages, and but they will not become like a heart, heartful heart until a certain time. But the, the heart cell is there, you know? The cells right. who make the heart are there, and the cells who make the uh, the liver is there, etc. And anyway, you can go to... Uh, Scientific, okay, not, okay. nothing to do with the Christianity or Islam, just pure search yourself, scientific, how the baby is created, or babies in various stages. Okay. And you will see none of this is true because simply the sperm will not become anything. The sperm is not the one who will become something. The sperm will go and fertilize the egg. And the one who will start yeah, growing, I see it then. yeah, and the yeah. one who starts growing is the egg, you know. Here. Okay, because it says there we transformed the the drop into so yeah yeah okay, okay. and not only that I can the show sperm you. does not transform into anything it's the egg right yes the egg the egg, the, okay. the the sperm will go fertilize and they will deliver the DNA you know from okay. the man at the same okay. time and then the egg will start multiplying and it multiply the DNA of the person of the male too here. This is a gelatin. You said, show me a gelatin too. Yeah. Then we transform the drop of semen into a clot, congealed blood. You know what congealed blood uh, is? Okay, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, it's what, dried, yeah. What is congealed blood is? And congealed blood is like dried blood on top of the dry, skin, and it's not dry, like liquid. Dry, solid blood. Is that yeah, your, is that your scholar, or is the Christian prince lying here? Uh, let me we transform the drop of semen into country blood. Yeah, no, that's Jalalain, yeah. Hmm. But is that your, yeah. uh, okay, this is your <clears throat> official government website of the Kingdom of Jordan? Yeah, no, I agree that hmm. this is, uh, okay, Tafsir, yeah, and it's Jalalain. Yeah, no, I, I, I agree that, so Alaka in Arabic doesn't mean leech, it means I mean, this is a false, like this blood, is a, you right? know, they try to fix it, saying leech, nowhere it says leech, so that, so, and secondly, you know, uh, the, the what's the word for leech in Arabic? Um, leech in Arabic, uh, Alec, right? Or something, well, yeah, you, you know, you have to add, you have to add to it to make it something. As an example, in Arabic, uh, when the Quran speaks, it says, We made the, the, the sperm into uh, a clot or congealed blood clot, uh, and this is a clot actually. Uh, when you want to say that there is an uh, like there is there is a there is kind of an insect which suck the blood you know which attach yourself itself to the to the skin let us say you go to a dirty water you know and then there is come some kind of worms or something like that yeah, yeah and those yeah. they they make a hole in your uh, in your skin and they start sucking the blood this one they call it alakatu you know but this okay. is but this is not the case because is this is what I'm talking about an insect and not like an insect. It says we made it into a clot of congealed blood. 
you know, and those are the okay. scars of Islam, and they understand Arabic very well, right? Right. And those yeah, are yeah. the ancient scars. Ibn Abbas is the cousin of Muhammad. Right. Okay. Now, actually, let us go to the Hadith. I mean, who understands the Quran better than Muhammad? Nobody, right? Well, probably Allah, but. I mean, but yeah, yeah, Muhammad but, uh, would I mean, be the second, yeah. Yeah, so who can understand it? Uh, I know, I mean, the one who brought the Quran for you. Yeah, yeah. Okay. okay. Yeah. So here, you will see here it says, Allah, he gathered each one of you in the, in the belly of his mother 40 days as a sperm. Okay. Okay. Is that true or false? Is what true? 40 days in the womb? How long the sperm, actually, by the way, in yeah. Arabic it doesn't say uh, womb, it says uh, uh, the belly of the mother, the belly. Okay. Okay. Yeah, yeah. How long does the semen can live? Um, Like a few days, I think like four or five days, something like that. I think maximum, days. maybe, yeah, let us see. Uh, let, let me ask Prophet five, Google. Right. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Just to confirm, I'm, I'm not a doctor, you know, I was a doctor for three years. And then, uh, you know, <laughs> yeah. I decided to, to, to work as a, uh, as a butcher because it's very close. So up to five days, according to Prophet Google, peace be upon him, it says my clinic, my clinic, my, my, my clinic. Do you hear me? Hello? Hello? Are you there? Are you there? Hello? Yes. Are you there? Can you hear me now? Do you hear me? Hello? Are you there? Hello? Yes. Do you hear me now? Do you hear me now? I can't hear you. Why you cannot hear me? Okay, let me call you back. Hold on. Don't call me. I will call you back. <laughs> Hello. Oh, yes. Do you hear me now? Okay. Yeah, yeah. According to Prophet, his name is Mayo Clinic. Semen, okay. sperm can remain alive to maximum of five days. Yeah, yeah. Okay? Okay. Okay. So when Muhammad he says 40 days, it's a lie. Okay. So this is the semen alone. And then the semen become, the Muslim here, the lie in translation saying become a clinging. No, it says become a clot, not became a clinging. And then uh, that a clot become uh, like a piece of meat. And this is the right. hadith here. The message of Allah, he said, uh, Verily the creation of each one of you brought together in his mother womb for 40 days in the form of semen, you know, nutfa, a drop, and it become alaqa, a clot of a blood. Do you see it? Yeah, yeah, I see, I see. So it, now yeah. go and search and find who is the doctor, he agree, that the first stage of a baby is semen become blood. Right, we all know that sperm goes to the egg, right? Yeah, and this is okay. for 40 days. So 40 days as a semen, then 40 days as a dead blood, and then first 40 days as a, like, you know, as a, a little What bit. does it mean by when it says clinging blood? Because I saw some translations, it says clinging it's a lie. blood. As you see, this is the same website here. It says a clot of a blood, correct? But what does clinging mean, though? What it doesn't does that say that, though? doesn't say that. That's a lie. Okay. Alaqa is dead blood. It's clot of blood. Okay, yeah. Yes. So, and this is okay. the this is the same website. This is the same. You know, I mean, why, why Muslims even? If, is if, this Sahih? Can you show me if this is Sahih, please? Uh, yeah, this is. I mean, they don't say here it's Sahih or not, but here it says okay. this is coming from Al Bukhari and Muslim. Okay. okay. See, you see, it says Al Bukhari, Bukhari okay, and Muslim. Yeah. Bukhari and Muslim. Here we go. This is Al Bukhari. This is a Bukhari now. A clot yes. of thick blood. Do you see it? This is even more clear. Yeah. 
And this is the translation of who? The Muslims, right? Right. So people like this uh, Sheikh Uthman, they are the dummy one, try to fix it, duct tape, shame on them. They have no, you see, a true believer, he say, well, this is what Muhammad said. You like it, like it, you don't like it, who care? Right. But when they, try, when they start lying about what their prophet taught and what he meant in the Quran, and then we got them busted from what Muhammad said, and this is a Muslim translation. Okay. Right? Okay. And this is Sunnah. Okay, I, 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 I agree that Alaka means congealed blood. Yeah, I just yeah. wanted to make Hadith that. Hadith al Bukhari, to... Hadith number 3208. So not only the okay. congealed blood is the pro everything here is saying is uh, because according to this, you are going to be created in 120 days. You are finished. You know, 40 days as a sperm, 40 days as a clot, 40 days as a mudha. You know? Okay. And uh, okay. Uh, uh, I mean, th this is really stupid. Uh, and it's up to you. You want to still believe in Islam after all this? Well, this is like a mistake. I, I, uh, uh, can you, like, why is that, like, if I become Christian, why should I become, like, what is Christianity, like, about, like? Don't, don't go to Christianity right now. We want to finish with Islam. What do you think about Muhammad now? Are you convinced that he's false prophet? Well, the things you showed me, just, I don't know, I'm just, yeah, it's just... Yeah, it's not what I've been told, basically. That's let me just say that I, I haven't, I haven't, nobody told me these things, like, you know. So me and you, Because I was agree. like, I was like a reverted Muslim, like, I, I, like I'm like, because only like six, maybe seven months ago, I reverted to Islam. And now I'm just, and like, I pray. Reverted. There's I, nothing called reverted. Reverted, if you are coming from the same religion, uh, it's from a, like a, a cult to uh, uh, the same religion, but you don't. Muslim, they don't have the same God. We don't have the same God of Islam. So re re reverted is a false statement. Secondly, no, are you saying, Islam, are you saying born, that you used to be? Born you, Muslim. What, so what you used to be? I wasn't like I was, well, I was born in a Christian family, but I left. I was 80. I was like agnostic for a few years. Then I became hmm. a Muslim. So you were agnostic and you Muslims. became, a, a not, not, you did not revert. You became a pervert. Because when you convert us, no. no, don't be insulted. I'm not insulting you. You know, when you converted to Islam, you become a pervert who believe that there's a God will make your penis endless and he will give you a lot of women to F them if you believe in him. This is pervert belief. No, that's not this true. This is what it is. You believe then, when you become a Muslim, that you can have sex with the children. Didn't Muhammad I have don't sex? believe that. Well, it's not yeah, up to you. he did that, but that it's was not because up to back you. then if it the, was a tradition. Okay, you are saying to me that the best man, who is the best example for you, he did it, but you will not do it. You are better than him. No, because back then it was normal. There's nothing the called Jewish normal, my friend. A child is a child. Even dogs don't do that. I mean, come on. You know, a dog, if you don't, he, he sniff, he sniff the, 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 the dog. And if she is a female ready, he go for her. If she is not, he would not. Have you ever heard to see a big dog jumping over? A, 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 no, a... I haven't. I haven't. Okay, even dogs like... don't do that. So, uh, uh, so this is Muhammad. He is a human being. He is not a dog, supposedly. And he is doing what dogs don't do. So when, I, when somebody... But what if back, but back then the nine-year-olds were mature, like compared what to mature, now my today? Friend, even Aisha, even the Hadith says that Aisha, she never have a, a, her period until she passed the 14. After no, 14. There's no, such, no, Muslim, no, there's no, she was nine. He waited till she was nine. No, no, no. I'm saying that Aisha, she did not. No, first of all, he married her at the age of six. So by six, she is his wife. He was molesting her, playing with her private part until she become nine, and then he did intercourse. Yeah, why did he wait those three years? Because he will kill her if she uh, she is so small, obviously. No, he won't kill her. How can you kill somebody like that? You can that? kill a child. You can kill a child if you if you if you are a growing man and you rape a child. You can kill her. She will bleed to death. What do you yeah, mean you but... can kill her? But but that's why he waited till she was nine. Okay. So obviously she menstruated oh, right. when she was nine. No, she is not. I can show you even the reference. If you go to the Middle East or even here in Europe, there's or anywhere, there's a lot of kids that mature at nine, ten. Oh, okay. But okay, what we will do with the reference says that Aisha at the age of fourteen still she don't have. Okay, show me. Okay, show me. Okay, show hold me. on. Let me show you. Give me a second.
by the way, all David Wood does is just talk about Aisha and Muhammad being this, like, a, like a marrying her at six. That's all he, I keep, like, and he just keeps popping up on my YouTube thing. So yeah, what, do you want, keep... what do you want him to talk about? I mean, this is the first. Because the first... he does, he does, he, like, I, the, Sheikh Uthman destroyed him when he really? was, every, he keeps coming down and he keeps trying to prove the Quran wrong and he no, keeps getting back from the, your Sheikh Uthman is a potato. He never destroyed. They show him Sahih Hadith. He can deny it. He says this is daif, and the fact it is not daif. So you know this guy is a joker. And by the Why, way, but in the, uh, listen, in the listen, Quran, Allah says he created all mankind from water, and that's actually scientifically true. No, this is not scientifically true. This is against the Quran. Yes, we all we have no, mostly water. No, no, no. Is rocks made from water? No. Okay. Isn't Muhammad he said that? But the, I said mankind, not no, rocks. No, 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 no. The Quran says everything is created from water. Every every living thing. The Quran but it says mankind in the English translation. No, 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 no. I will, I will show. We go there. Let us read this one first. Do you see the hadith in front of us about Aisha? Yeah. Okay. I used wait, to pray. Wait, 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 wait. I'm. It won't. It's slowly coming up. Okay. Go ahead. I used to play with the dolls in the presence of the prophet. She's playing with the dolls. Okay. Okay. This was before, obviously. No, no, she's ahead. a wife now. And my okay. girlfriend also used to play with me. So this is in the house of Muhammad when she is a wife. Okay. And Allah messengers used to enter my dwelling, my room, and they used to hide themselves. They are just a bunch of kids. But the prophet okay. would call them to join to play with me. <laughs> hey, come, come, come back, play with her, play with her. And they okay. playing with dolls, similar image is forbidden. But it was allowed at that time for Aisha as she was little girl and not reach the age of puberty. Do you see it? Uh, I heard this hadith in the speaker's corner. Uh, um, uh, Shamsi said that the last part, fat, all, what's his name, uh, Barry or something. <laughs> Uh, that par last part in brackets, the, mm. the things in brackets, those are added on. They're not so, like. Um, but, th but this is Sahil Bukhari, and this is your pro this is your scholars. So the scholars they say you take you take what what uh, some see say, the guy who have no teeth. <laughs> I mean, this is funny. So this is what you must do. A guy from in this like this guy Uthman, he do not yeah. know even how to say his prophet name correctly. You take his words against what the scar. This is this is really scar. How do you say? How do you say? I say Muhammad. Is that how you say? Muhammad. Yes, Muhammad. And Muslims say Muhammad. Is that what you're trying to say? They say Muhammad. Okay. Okay. Mm. Yeah. So listen, this is this is Al Bukhari. Which one is a trustworthy for the Muhammadan? Abdul Uthman, the shoppy boy, or Al Bukhari? Al-Bukhari, but like okay. I said, the ones in brackets are not part of Al-Bukhari, but the no, I, it's I part, it's the no, no, the no, no, my friend, my friend, says dolls, no al -Bukhari. this is explanation for Al-Bukhari, so when he explained that, he is confirming that, he is not, where did he get this information from, just out of his own you, mind, or no, from you, other this, uh, the same as Al-Bukhari, where he got this information from, so you are. So how come? How come? How you come? You don't ask Shamsi, the guy in the street, the guy who have no teeth. Where do you get this information from? <laughs> he was there. No. Okay, he's a scholar. No. So who is he? A YouTuber? He's just a you part of the Dawa he's, team. He's YouTuber. <laughs> yeah. Well, he has a lot of knowledge. Hey, my, my friend, my friend. What is confirmed is that she is now my wife. She is okay. in the bedroom of Muhammad, and still she is playing with the dolls. Can we confirm that now? Yes, I agree with okay. that, yes. So, what kind of a prophet, what is the interest of a man at this age? To go How after... old was he? Uh, Muhammad, when he married her, he was 54 51, years old. 51, right? 54. No, he was 51. No, he was 54 years old. No, Shamsi said he was 51 and 54 when, he, when she was nine. And in okay, 63, okay, well, when he died, so is, is, because is, in the, is that there's a hadith better, my friend? that says that Aisha is, is, died is, is when that she make was it even, 18, he died. My friend, is that making it better? No, it's not, but I'm just saying that, like, information. No, you, what, you, what, you, what you are saying, information, it's not information, because simply, 51, 54 is ugly, because the guy is so old for her, and she is so young, she is so child. 
Okay, let me ask you, how old, was Aisha, how old when did Muhammad die? 63, right? 63 years yeah. of age. <clears throat> and Aisha in Sahih al-Bukhari, she was 18, she said herself when Muhammad died. Yeah. So if she was 18 and he was 63, hmm. then you, when she was 9, you can just calculate that. So what do we He share? would have been 54, he was 54 oh. when she was uh, 9 years old. Because... Um, uh, yeah, you know, uh, so she was, okay, she was okay, okay, okay. Was my friend, my friend. Was if Muhammad okay. was even 40, let us say he was 30, you know what? Okay. He was 18. Are you happy now? Aisha, <laughs> when okay. Muhammad he died, she was going in her 18. And remember, Islamic calendar if she is six, that means she is five. If she is seven, that means she is six. Yeah, I heard that. Yeah, all right. So she was in, in, in our calendar, she was not even six. At the same so see, time, he was 53 and she was 8, is that what you're trying she, to say? And for me, I believe he was 54, and this is your Islamic number, you can calculate as you want, because I have, okay. I, I put reference from many places together to, to come to a conclusion, I don't put it from okay. one, one, one what phrase. What do you say about those Muslims who say she was 18? Because there's books written on well, it from... Well, the Muslims uh, themselves, the Muslims they have fatwas, making fun of those who say she was 18. You know, and if if the Muslims, she's, they say she was 18, then the Quran and the Hadith is a, is a fraud. Because Aisha, she Why, said, where in the Quran says that? Well, the Quran, there's a chapter, it's called the chapter of divorce, speaking about divorcing children who never have their no, menstruation. No, that's not children, that's not, the Nisa in our, Al-Nisa al means women, not not children. In, no, Nisa means women, I agree, you know, yeah. but here it's coming, it's, the chapter is called the chapter of Nisa, you know. The, the yeah, the women, about. but children. Yeah, but we are not talking women. about that chapter. We are Until, my friend, Islam, my friend, a woman my friend, is a woman my friend. When she used to reach the age of puberty. My friend, we are not even talking about the chapter of Anissa. We are okay. talking about we are talking about chapter sixty-five, verse number four. Four. All right. Yeah, that's what I'm trying right. to say. The okay. verse is Al Nisa. Okay, read with me carefully. When they say okay. of your women, you know this is this is the wrong uh, uh, phrase made by Allah. Why? Because why those women, they don't have their period yet, if they are women? How you call because them? Because there's, no, 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 because there's many women, even in this society, in this world today, that cannot actually, ha that have something like uh, medical problems, that they cannot okay. have uh, uh, who menstruation, is the one? and they are okay. women. Uh, are you making explanation for the verse now because you are a scholar, or you are making things according to your understanding? Up. No, but you asked me if she's a okay. woman, why is she Aren't you the one who says puberty? to me, I like Ibn Abbas? Okay, go to Ibn Abbas. Okay, Ibn Abbas, Abbas is the biggest scholar. You are the one who named him. Yeah, yeah, Okay, yeah. and this is the chapter 65. Okay. And this is verse number four. And let us see what Ibn Abbas will say. Here we go. Okay. All right, read with me. Okay. And those who have not yet menstruated, because of their uh -huh. young age, their period shall also be three months. Do you see it? Yeah, but where is that in the verse in the Quran? Ah, the, those see? <laughs> you, but you, a second ago, you accepted Samsi. You accepted Uthman. Now we have the one who Muhammad named him to be the, 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 the he said, Hibrul Ummah, which means the ink of, of knowledge. Of the Ummah, yeah. Yeah, so the one who is the ink of knowledge by the mouth of Muhammad is a potato. But, uh, okay, but, but I'm not denying uh, some it. Scene, I haven't said that. But some I'm not scene, denying a bunch it. of thieves, of his friends, you know, there's a video of him, of his friends, his, you know, his, uh, they, they, are, they are robbing people. He went to them. He says, brother, we can't rob those Muslims. He's a Muslim. We can't rob him, which means we can't rob a Christian. We can't rob a Muslim. He said in speaker's corner to a Christian that Allah does not enter his creation like God in, his, in Christianity. Well, that is fraud too, because we can show you that again. And because I, Allah does not need to enter his creation yeah, uh, there's, a video of me, there's a video of Mimi Hijab saying yes Allah he entered his creation this guy is stupid but he said he doesn't we can prove that to be the opposite but now focus with me we don't want to keep okay. jumping like monkeys from place to place do you see here it says because of their young ages yes I see that I okay. understand that do you think really Ibn Abbas the cousin of your prophet the companion he have a wrong understanding of the Quran and Samsi from a speaker corner, he had a better <laughs> understanding? No, but I yeah. know Muhammad Hijab well, agreed you know, my friend, that when this a, is... When a Muslim, he starts saying, but... Have, yeah. When a Muslim, he starts saying, but... Say hello to but. 
But, you know what, but, I mean, we just confirm, you can say to me, Mimi Hijab says, she, 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 Hijab. This is Ibn Abbas. What but? Okay, I agree. But okay, what so the, why but, you are bringing, why you are bringing but to our conversation? How does the verse explain it? But the verse says women, not young ages though, right? My friend, no, it says because how they are women and they are very young, it says in front of you, why they are not having uh, a period because of their young ages. So they are but children. Young age, we so, don't call women my friend, in so don't, young age. don't bring the word but here. It doesn't work. It doesn't help you. Okay. No okay. but. You know? The but okay. of Mimi Hijab will not help you. And the but of uh, Samsi will not help you. Because simply... So what you're saying is this verse allows pedophilia. Well, Muhammad is not only uh, allowed pedophilia. Because you see, when a, when a child... Uh, uh, in the one you mentioned, Mimi Hijab, right? He says, yes. yes, there's no place in the Quran it says the age. What age? You know? And... Yeah. Most Muslim agree that you can have <laughs> okay. you can have sexual relationship with a child, and there's no right. image, there's no limitation of any of yeah, age. Yeah, I heard him say that. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And yeah. Uh, he said, if his daughter she is ready, he feels she is ready, mm -hmm. he will say to her, "Go for uh -huh. it." Right. Right. Okay. Ali Dawa said the same. Right. If she, if her, if his daughter All was right. nine. So too. if his daughter she is five and she is ready, what does that mean? She's horny. No, for marriage. But how how he knew she is ready for marriage? He opened the puberty. door. He saw her touching herself. I don't know, but they. But if marriage she has is no different period yet, and she, what does that mean? I mean, how, what she is ready? This is this is a, the five religion, and remember that that if Muhammad he says don't marry children, every Muslim will make fun of anyone who marry child, but because Muhammad did it, everybody is saying it's okay, it's true. It's fine, no problem. Yeah. It is healthy. It is uh, scientific. You know, this is this is the hypocrisy of the Muhammadan. The same one, okay. the same one they laugh at the Christians. You will see every Muslim making fun of the Jesus being God, but you will not see a Muslim making fun of Jesus being born of a virgin. Why? Because the Quran confirmed that. If that verse is not exist in the Quran, trust me, all the Abdul they will make him making fun of this. Islam is a religion of hypocrites, liars, and they are sneaky and they try to play like a snake. The second we show them the reference from their books and their, their scholars, and this is the campaign of Muhammad and his cousin. Right away you bring me the word but. There's no but here. Either we accept <laughs> Either we accept the butt of... Uh, the... I accept his tafsir. I accept Ibn Abbas because he's he's just the... Yeah, he's the biggest in Islam and he's... Yeah, so... Okay, so, so then don't mention to, to me Sisi and Susu and Dudu. They don't. It doesn't okay. work. You know? Okay. Yeah. And and not only that. Uh, what the topic I said to you, uh, we'll we talk about later? Uh, the water of, uh, yeah. of we mankind. Created, we created everything from water, right? Every yeah, living thing. All okay. mankind. Yeah, because no, it doesn't say. That, how could friend, Allah no, know this? no, it doesn't say uh, uh, mankind. In the verse in the Quran says we created every living thing from water. Correct. Yeah, every living thing. Yeah. All yeah. right. Is After, that's I think that's the same verse as the two water seas or okay. salt and water, fresh and thing. Okay, my friend, is Shaitan created from water? Uh, no. Okay. But the Quran says we created every living thing from water. Okay. Shaitan is living thing or dead thing? He's living, yeah, he's existing. <laughs> so Allah, he did uh, make a poo, poo here. Well, he, he's, he's given this Quran to us. So obviously it's for mankind, right? I know, but this is poo, poo Because when he say we made every living thing, from water, that's mean every living thing. He did not say even a human. He says every living thing, even thing, is made of water. The condition is if they are living. So living thing is from water. Muhammad he claimed that the stones are rocks. They say to him, "Assalamu alaikum." They are living thing. Muhammad he right. claimed that the black stone is going to come in the judgment day with mouth and tongue and eyes she is oh, a okay. she is a living thing and then we ask we just ask you is shaitan is the genie or living thing you said yes 
Are they created from water? The answer no. The Quran confirmed that shaitan yeah. and genie created from fire, right? Right. What about the angels? Are they created from water? The angels? Yeah. Um, <clears throat> there's a hadith uh, that Muhammad says that the angels and the, the genies or shaitan were made from fire and light. The angels are light. The genie, yeah. yeah the genie are made from uh, fire. From, oh, yeah, uh, yeah, and these angels are from light. Yeah, yeah. Mean, I mean, I'm not. <laughs> correct. So, uh, so how every living thing is made up from water? Well, he, he's he's obviously talking about humans, right? No, he said thing. Every yes. living thing. We have created all living things. No. Oh, yeah, okay. We created every living thing from water. He did not say uh, every living human. Okay. Okay. Right, okay, I get you, yeah. yeah anything is living. Are is humans made... made out of all water? Like, are we... Huh? Are humans made out of mostly water? Like, I know made out of mostly water, but did mostly we actually water, come yes. from it's water just, it's at first? True, mostly water, but it's not. We are not made from water only. You know? This is why when you burn a human being, like some uh, some practice people, they burn the dead person, like the Hindus, etc. So... When you, right. you know, when you burn, there's left over, right? It's not water. Right. The bones are not water. Uh, uh, there's many, uh, like uh, many structures in your body are not water. And this right. is why when you die, the bones will be left. They are not water. Otherwise, we'll, the water will go, you know? So right. this is another mistake too. But as you see, this is a contradiction. Every living thing is made from water. But the angels are not made from water. And what about the Quran? The Quran is not a living thing because it's so? not like... Who said so? Well, it's a book, so how can it live? Who said it's a book? Uh, well, it's like... Well, the, the words are not books, but they're compiled into a book written down. My friend, is it Allah, he says, or Muhammad said, that the Quran will come as a... Uh, I don't know what the word in English... No, he, he will uh, he will come as a pale man. Okay, yeah. Huh. Did he say that? <clears throat> I never heard of that, no. Okay, let me show you the hadith. Okay. The Quran will come as a white man? He will come as a pale man, which means uh, like when a person he die, you know, when a person yeah. he die, he lose his color, you know, like he, uh, his face will lose the color, the skin right, will lose the right. color, yeah. So, okay. this is your hadith. In the day of resurrection, the Quran will come as a pale man. So, he will come as a man, but he is like a dead man. Is the Quran okay. made from a living water? From, a, from water? No, because the word is from Allah. So it's okay. from his mind. So. You said to me, you mentioned, now I remember, you mentioned if God can be inside his creation or not, right? Yeah, in Islam he can't. Okay, Quran is not created, correct? Quran is not created now. Okay. The one is not a created is the Quran, and now he is in the shape of a man. Is that a created person? Well, the Quran, sorry, the Quran comes from Allah's mind. So whether it existed in his mind the, since there is nowhere, there were, nowhere Muslim believe that Allah have a mind anyway. You are making things up now. Not mind, but like his knowledge, basically. This is, again, this is a fabrication. Why? Because if the Quran is coming from Allah knowledge, that's mean Allah is the source of the Quran. But as long as you believe the Quran is not a created, that's mean the Quran is exist as Allah is exist by Himself. Okay. You know? Okay, I never heard who I, I'm confused. Okay, okay. Go ahead, show me the verse. Okay. I mean the fact that Allah enters his creation because the guy said no. So. No, here first of all we need to ask ourselves when the Quran come in a shape of a man. That's mean the Quran itself is going to be... But or, where it says he's come in the shape of a man? It's in the front of you. Like, <clears throat> but I can't see it. It's on the screen. <laughs> oh, pale man. Okay, I see it. Is it Sahih? Can you see? Can I see the grave? It grade? says Hassan. Hassan mean good. Okay. And Sunan, is that accepted too? Sunan Ibn Majah, <laughs> 3781, uh, sorry. Um, okay, right. okay. Okay. The Quran will come on the day just mean like a pale man. Okay. Mm -hmm. No. Um, do, okay. Allah, do Allah go inside as a creation now? 
does Allah go? No, because the Quran is not Allah. Okay. No, Allah. He, he actually, a Muslim, have a problem because now we have to divine. If the word of Allah is divine, and Allah is divine, and Allah is not created, and the Quran is not created, so we have any created too. Yeah, but Allah is above the seven heavens. Doesn't um, matter. So this, Doesn't matter. He never, my friend, he never enters the seven heavens. My never. friend, uh, hold on. As long as the Quran is not a created, who cares where the Quran is? It is in the seven heaven or seven eleven. It's not a created. <laughs> Simple. So okay. as long as it's not a created, it's mean Allah has nothing to do with making the Quran come to existence. Right, okay. Okay. So the Quran is exist even if Allah doesn't exist. The Quran exists even if Allah never existed. Yes, because the Quran isn't created by Allah. Who said that the Quran is not created by Allah? You just said to me the Quran is not created. Well, I don't know if it's created or not because it's from Allah, so how can My it friend, not be you created? You are the one who said to me a second ago, I asked you, is the Quran created? You said no. The Quran is created. Well, <laughs> I th I don't think so. Like, yeah. Okay. So, is the Quran? So. I want to confirm to me: is the Quran is it created or not created? <laughs> is the Quran created or not created? Um, is the uh, the words like the the recitation of the words? Uh, well, you know, don't uh, play the game recitation. Who talking about the Quran? The Quran, whatever Allah has said, is it created or not? It's from His knowledge. Oh, okay. Is it created or not? Is it? It's not created, no. Okay, so as long as it's not created, it means it's not created by Allah. If Allah have knowledge about the Quran, would that make me Allah too? Because I have knowledge of the Quran. No, okay, then it's not created. It is created, sorry, by Allah. Okay, yeah. as long as you just said it's a created, that means you left Islam because Muslims who believe Quran is a created are not Muslim no more. That's not true. Okay. Here we go. Well, who told you? Nobody Nobody said no. To leave Islam, you have to not believe in Allah and Muhammad. Exactly. You believe in Allah and Muhammad, not, you know, uh, Muhammad is God. So here, if you go and search right now, no, uh, uh, search for a fatwa, you will see, is the Quran, is it created? They will see the answer, no. Muslim, they cannot believe in such a thing. Where does it say that? This is the fatwa. The Quran is the word of Allah. Maybe... May he exalted and, and, and is not a created fatwa number, as you see here. Two, Can two, you send a link? Can two, you two, send seven. A link I will post it in the chat. I will post it in the chat. Yeah. You know, and here it says he is debating somebody is a Christian. Maybe this is debating me and uh, is asking if Allah is, uh, you know, uh, the Quran is created. You know, is the Quran is created or not? The answer first, you know, the Quran is not created. The Quran so is the word Quran of Allah. If the Quran is not created, that doesn't mean that it's from Allah. Is that what you're saying? My friend, hold on. One by one. The Quran is the answer. This is the scars of, of, of Islam today. You know, the terrorists. Right. Okay. Right. The Quran is the, <laughs> the, court of, the Quran is the word of Allah. May be exalted and not created. Okay? Okay. All right. So if you believe that the Quran not is created, created yeah. they will kill you. The words of they, Allah are not created. There's a caliphate. He killed a man. He, he killed him like a goat just because he said the Quran is created. You can go on search. Can you just it. post the link for me, please? All right, I will give you that. So anyway, I will post the link. Yeah. And who is this uh, uh, transmitted by? Who is like the... Uh, the... Uh, this is one of the donkeys of Islam. Who, who care? I mean, there's many donkeys. I'm just showing you your donkeys, what I can do. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> Some they say he's a big donkey, mule maybe. I don't know. But he's a donkey <laughs> okay. for me. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Because this is how stupid this religion is. They say to us, there's one God, and then they come to us and they say, Quran is not a created. So now we have God is not a created, Quran is not a created. This is stupid. So if Quran is not a created and Allah is not a created, that means they are two individual and they are separated and they are not one I, 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 I like a, a entity. And when, when the Quran then came to existence, it, it was eternal. As long as the Quran is eternal, that means it's, it's, it exists the same as Allah has exist, independent from Allah, not part of Allah, and exists by itself. So now we have to divine. All right, okay. Okay. Yeah. Now, uh, if you focus with me here, this is the Quran coming in the shape of a man, which is very stupid to say. But if you go, you will see that Allah himself will come in the shape of a 
you must understand yeah. to explain what shape is, but obviously, uh, you know, a scary shape. Look at look at this hadith, and this is Sahih al Bukhari. They ask uh, uh, Muhammad, uh, <laughs> all right, all right. Are, are we going to see Allah? You know, are we going to see Allah? Muhammad, he says, yeah, Muhammad, he cannot keep his mouth shut. You know, you have to make some poopoo. It's a specialty. So, well, he's a prophet, yeah. Yeah, he's a prophet, so he has to make poopoo, you know, big poopoo. Uh, so are we going to see see Allah? They said, uh, yeah. Are, are you, do you have difficulty when you see the sun in a clear sky or the moon in a clear sky? They said, no. He said, this is how you will see Allah. But let us see here what Muhammad, he will say. Uh... Where is the hadith? Read this hadith with me. This is Sahih al-Bukhari. Mm -hmm. Hadith number 4581. It says here that uh, long hadith, you know, we, we don't want to waste our time. We will go where Allah, he comes yeah. in a shape. So, when they ask him, are we going, are we going to see Allah? He says, yes, he will come to you in a shape. Uh -huh. Allah, the Lord of the world, would come to them in a shape nearest to the picture they had in their mind, which is a turtle. What, what, <laughs> yeah, well, don't laugh, tell me. What is the shape you have for your mind for Allah? Uh, I don't have it. I never pictured him in a shape. Thank you. So Muhammad is a stupid here because what, what image? What is image the Muslim they have in their mind? That is the most stupid comment ever. There's no Muslim that has, we can't paint, uh, we can't picture exactly. any. Exactly, so how, what, so what is this stupid Muhammad saying in the shape nearest to the picture they have in their mind? <laughs> don't you know first how you look like? Look I like don't. a turtle, octopus, like a monkey, donkey, what do you look like? We don't know. So, in the nearest, look, look at the details, the nearest, you know, look, what the heck? Okay. <laughs> okay. And then he continues saying, uh, so first Allah, he will come to you in a shape. Does it say shape? Yes. Yeah, okay. Shape, yeah. Is that the word? Is, is the word shape present physical? Physique. A shape would be physical if it's common to people. Yeah. Yeah. Shape is something something occupying a space. That's what shape is, right? Yeah. So he will come to them in a shape, and the Muslims will not believe in him, and then Allah will come to them in other shape. Okay. And then they will believe in him. So when Allah changing the shape, shape number one, shape number two, is Allah being inside his creation or there is two Allah? And Allah has two shape. Uh, um, uh, I don't know. Apparently to this hadith, he ha he's gone into two shapes. Yeah. Yeah. So... Obviously, Allah, even not only he have shape, he changed his shape. And shape is what is created in a space. Yeah, right. And Allah, obviously, is going inside his shape. So he is inside his creation. And there's many ways, actually, to prove this. But this is showing you how stupid Islam is. In one hand, this is how God can be inside a man, how God can be a man. And then they come to us and they say, Allah, go inside the shape. And this shape is a scary. Do you notice that the shape is a scary? Shape is scary. Yeah, shape like shaitan. Okay, but we've never seen shaitan. So how will we know what he looks like? Uh, Muhammad, he described him. He said that he is an African. African? Yes, okay. I want to show you. Muhammad is a very, uh... Muhammad is a very racist man. I heard some, yeah, I know there's some hadith that Yeah, Muhammad is a very racist. He hates black people, you know, which is disgusting yeah. of him to say so. But he of describes course. always shaitan as a black person. Okay. We, know, we know that this is absolutely false because, uh, uh, you know, the color of a, uh, uh, of a person does not make him evil or good. There's evil. Well, the, the, there's... the color of his skin is uh, of the sun, so... Yeah, yeah. This, is, this is how we see actually the opposite, you know, the, the black person is a white person and the white person is a black person because the, the light which you don't observe is the light you see, the light which the body is not observing, you know. Well, we all came from Africa originally, so we're friend, all It doesn't matter where we are coming from, we are coming from Adam, we are all one family. So the Asian, the white, 
the black they are children of adam right so yeah. and that would that will delete all kind of racism and we should not be racist but when a filthy man like muhammad says the black dog is the devil shaitan right. is a black man actually according to the filthy muhammad the most person allah he hate is a black man okay you know but let us focus here in the shape so allah not only he have shape allah he changes his shape right okay okay yeah why Allah he changed his shape? What do you think? Why Allah has changed his shape? Um... He's playing hide and seek. Look, he come to them in a shape. <laughs> it says here, Allah will come to them in a shape other than the one they knew they know. And he will say, right. I am your Lord. They will say to him, Get lost. Get lost, you son of idiot. You are not our Allah. But in Islam, we in Islam we never believe that Allah will ever come in a shape or he has no, a shape. Do. No, you do. This is Sahih Bukhari. Yeah, but uh, according to this, I know, I understand no, that. According to all the scholars, go... no. According to scholars, you can search right now in YouTube. You will see Allah, he have hands, Allah have foot, Allah have fingers. and But they're and not the fingers like, they're not like They are us, shape, my friend. Finger is a shape. Finger is a physical thing, you know? Right, okay. Uh, do you see the story of Uthman? He was driving in the road. Uh, a guy gave him a finger, you know? They, Uthman. They come, yeah, they, they have a fight. So that is the finger, yeah. of, he gave him the finger of Allah. So Allah The blood looks very thick Allah, to me though. There was, blood looks thick though, a bit. Look like tomato sauce, I don't know, a ketchup. <laughs> but anyway, uh, uh, Allah have five fingers. Why he have five fingers? Where does it say he has five fingers? Uh, you go just right now, search in YouTube. I mean, there's uh, endless reference, my friend. You, you, okay. are a, you are a Muslim who knows nothing. I do. I never heard he has five fingers. Okay. I know he has if hands. If we go right now, but if we go right now, and uh, hands on the right side, right too. Okay, hold on. Um, uh oh, let us see. I was typing in Arabic. <clears throat> it's okay. Um. Okay, there's a video by Sheikh Asim. You know Sheikh Asim? Uh, yeah, I think so. Yeah, you can unmute YouTube now just for a second and mute me in Skype so you can hear the video. Okay. And when you hear me talking again after he finished talking, I can I can hear you on the uh, I can hear you uh, through the thing. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Go ahead. Play. Okay. So this is Sheikh uh, uh, Asim, and they are asking uh -huh. him how Allah look like. This is the video name. How does Allah okay. look like? Okay. And okay. he is going to teach us how Allah looks like. Say, Akhri, this okay. is similar to humans. How can we say this to Allah? I, I say, I seek Allah's forgiveness. So I would say to those who claim this, Akhri, this word is known, but the meaning is different. When I say that an elephant has a leg and I have a leg and an ant has a leg, are the legs similar? Definitely not. And Allah Azza wa Jal has the highest example. We do not Azza wa Jal simulate him to any of his creatures. But you believe that Allah is alive. So why don't you say that living is also part of human nature? Allah Azza wa Jal subhanahu wa ta'ala is alive. Allah Azza wa Jal is all hearing, all seeing. So Allah sees and Allah hears and I hear and I see. But there is no resemblance, none whatsoever, resemblance. except in the description. Therefore, you have to believe in the things that Allah described himself, in the things that the Prophet described his Lord, Azza wa Jal, and take it as it is without any addition. Hmm. Without any addition. Let me play actually the part I want to And play. here Allah Azza wa Jal is referring to himself by saying that his face will remain, which means Allah Azza wa Jal, uh, uh, subhanahu wa ta'ala, will not perish he is the first without a beginning and he's the last without an ending azza wa jal he's the creator of the all uh, uh, what you see and what you do not see and he's not created and he does not die and he does not have an ending subhanahu wa ta'ala so allah described in the quran that he has a face allah described in the quran that he has two hands when he addressed iblis satan and he told him what prevented you from prostrating to what i have created with my two hands so this 
is what Allah described himself. Allah says in Surah Al-Qalam that on the day of judgment, Allah Azza wa Jal would uplift and show his leg. And they are called to prostrate and everyone prostrate. Did you hear it? Allah will uplift his, 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 uh, his leg. Okay. Okay, so Allah have a hand. Not like your hand, who care? Allah have fingers, not like your fingers, who care? <laughs> He's an octopus. Uh, he, have a, he have a leg, who okay. care? He have a leg. So, does it say leg or shin? Is that what he's meaning? To leg, 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 actually, shin is the leg. He have a shin, he have a leg. You know, Allah, he, Allah have a foot. Allah, he put his foot in the fire. So, uh, all okay. scholars agree that Allah have those physical body. But most of them, when you debate them, like when David Wood says to me, me hijab, your God, Allah have body part. He said, who said so? Yeah, right, right. right. Because they are liars, they lie. This is how they can make themselves look like they are winning a debate by mockery. You, you, you said Allah meant uh, the moon god, La. We don't want to change topic from one to one. So now, do you agree that okay. Allah have a shape and he have body and he have physical body? Uh, I, I believe now if this guy is saying it, yeah. Okay. And the hadith too says it too. So. All right. So I'll search more later on. As long as Allah have body and have fingers and have shin, who is the one who created the shin of Allah? Himself. No, he, you cannot say that. It. No, you cannot say that. Uh, Why well, can't say that? That's mean Allah created himself. No, but like not created himself, but it's from him. Nobody created it basically on okay. him. It, it, uh, he just, he, just, he always had it. So when I showed you that Allah have a shape and then he will come in other shape, he have two shape. Right. Is the first shape is the shape the true Allah, and the second shape is additional Allah? Well, if he's coming in two shapes, and the first one they don't know him, and the second one they do, I don't know. I'm 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 not sure. Okay. When I asked you who is the one who created the shen, you said Allah. No, but I said that by accident he was cre he wasn't it was never created it was always there okay he was never created so the shin was always there yeah all his body parts were all he, this is just the way he is yeah okay so allah have a physical body but he is not inside a space allah has a physical body but he's not in some space yeah he's above the seven heavens on both there's nothing it's called above and, uh, and and bomb either he have a space around him or not the second you say he have a body this mean he's occupying a space he has he's not compiled by any space no no he's he is because he's a body now uh, yeah and this well this is the day judgment all right doesn't matter what day judgment this is before okay, but listen focus with me allah have a have a fingers have a leg have an <clears throat> ass have a face okay, <laughs> okay. This, before he created everything do you agree he was like this yes, yes okay so before he created everything what was there there was nothing there there was nothing you want me to show you yes. what your prophet said? Uh, okay, go ahead. Hmm. You will laugh now. <laughs> yeah, I, hmm. I probably will. This is your God, my friend. Try not to laugh. Okay. Uh, the hadith says here, they asked Muhammad, what was exist before Allah created everything? What was, you know, or... Uh, uh, you know, before Allah created anything, right? Okay, was yeah, there. Yeah. So here it yeah. says, from his uncle Abu Razin, and says uh, he said the Messenger of Allah said, there was our Lord before He created our creation. What? Where was our Lord before He created His creation? Where He was? Listen carefully. He said He was above the cloud. Okay. And here the translation, is, the translation <clears throat> is wrong. It says no air, but it says, in fact, it says air. If you go to different translator, the, this, this translator is a donkey. It says above him, there's an air, and underneath of him, there's air. Read carefully. This is the same hadith, different translator. I said, O Messenger of Allah, where was our Lord before he created the creation? He said, he was above the cloud, below which was air, and above which was air. Does it right. say that? And yeah. water below, there's air and water. And then he created the throne above the water. So, let me repeat the question again to you. He was above Allah the occupies no space okay. with the shape, or he don't occupy space in the shape. Uh, right now, today? No, no, no. 
Read the hadith. This is your prophet talking. Uh, he said he was above air, which was below air, and above him was air and water. Hmm. Um, yeah, according to this hadith, these are f like the f f well, air and clouds and water exist. So yeah, and not only that, there's above, above him, him, above him, there is air. Above Allah, there is air. Correct. Okay. So right. Allah is not only inside of the creation; is between them. Okay. Okay. So according and to this hadith, that water was 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 always there. It was yeah. never created. But look right? what, how stupid this story is, because they said to Muhammad, "What was exists before Allah created His creation?" Correct. Right. Okay. Which means the moment of zero before He created anything. So right, okay. this hadith imply that there's air is not created by Allah. And the water is not created by Allah. Because they are asking okay. him, what was, where was Allah before he created his creation? Okay. What? Okay. Muhammad is a donkey. They just said to him, where was Allah before he created his creation? Yeah, well, according to this uh, hadith, that these things obviously weren't created. They obviously were before creation. Exactly, right. that means Allah is not the one who created them. Allah is living there, but He did not create them because they asked Him before His creation. So are you telling me that I'm the not, water was not... <laughs> I'm not telling you. The Hadith says that before His creation, there was water. Before His creation, there was air. Does it say that or does it mean He's making things up? Yeah, it says okay. that. It says so that. before His creation, what was? There was water and air. And then you will see... Is it the Quran okay. says we created everything from uh, every living thing from water? Okay. But that's me. Allah did not create anything. Okay. Because water was there. Right. Okay. So yeah. yeah we created yeah, everything know. from water. If water was there, so how did he when he say we created water? everything from water, that's mean he is using the water which is exist before him to do things <laughs> to cook. Okay. Is this so? This hadith is Hassan. Can you post this hadith in the chat? It's Hassan, yeah. So, okay, me, which means good, right? Yeah, good. Hassan is okay. one of the names of the grandsons, the fake grandsons of Muhammad, if you remember. Yeah, okay, yeah. and um, okay, okay. Um, and this hadith means yeah. that Muhammad is a stupid because they ask him, Where was Allah? and the answer is, Above him, there is air, and underneath, there is air. There's water. I mean, what, 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 where is that? I mean, look at look at the stupid answer. So I, I asked me, where is God? I say to you, above him there's a grass, and underneath of him there's a grass. But where is that? All right. Okay. We did not even ask him what is above him, and what is underneath him. We are right. asking him where is Allah, where he was. The okay. answer is he was. <laughs> In the top of him, there is air. Underneath, there is air and water. <laughs> okay, okay. That okay. is a, this. This guy is mentally ill. This guy is a stupid. He cannot comprehend even a question. <laughs> okay. Yeah. So my yeah, friend. No, I, it's a bit. Yeah. You are okay. laughing at Muhammad now, and this is a good news. No, not laughing. You are I'm laughing. Just, you are laughing. I'm so, laughing. so, so did you decide to leave? That... Did you decide to leave Islam, my friend? Um, you know, the, the, I made a challenge and you actually uh, did it. So, um, like my shocking thing when I saw, when I read your book and your hadiths, uh, I mean, not hadiths, sorry, your videos. Um, when you when you when you showed the references when he was killing people and the com the sixth commandment for Muslims to uh, do because they said we we only have five apparently, but. There's six, like you're saying, and it's a commandment to Muhammad. So does that mean if it's a commandment to Muhammad, it should be a commandment to all Muslims too? It's a commandment for all Muslims. I showed you it's just for all Muslims. Right. Yeah. So so you are out of Islam? Yeah. Um, yeah. Yeah. Wonderful. I'm happy. But I have you. to learn more about the Bible and Christianity before I become Christian because I don't know nothing about it. No problem. Well, maybe next time you can call me. Because I believe in God, but I believe in God is love. And like, I just, I never thought Muhammad was a killer or just, you know, I just thought he was like perfect. You know what I mean? And, and he was, and I just, 
did everything that I could Muhammad to do is a pervert, the best I could in Islam. Is a, is a pervert man who used the word God for the sake of his pocket and his penis. That's all what Muhammad is about. Actually, there's yeah. a sheikh, there's a sheikh. You can watch his video. Uh, Ahmed uh, uh, Qabaji, he's from yeah. Iraq. Uh, he was he was making, uh, he make videos, you know, to explain the stupidity of, of Muhammad. But he's a sheikh, you know, he's a sheikh. And actually this video here in front of me. So he, you know, uh, if you read the title here, he says, this is book of God. The most stupid, silly book ever. But he's a sheikh. Right, right, right. You know? And he, they cannot say to you, he don't speak Arabic, he do not know Arabic. This is very well known sheikh. So he's still a Muslim, by the way. But he say, the Quran we have today, it cannot be the book of God. Okay. You know? So he still, he say he's a Muslim, you know? But he is making fun of the Quran. He says, this is book of God. This is the most yeah. stupid book ever. The thing, well, the things you showed me about how the baby is created is uh, is wrong. And friend, everything, everything in this religion is wrong. Because God, he mm -hmm. don't even remember which one he created first, the sky or the, uh, right. or the earth, the stars or the trees. I mean, yeah, I heard you. I heard yeah. that one. Yeah. So my friend, one. I'm really happy for you that you decide to leave Islam. And yeah. I, I'm, uh, I'm glad that I accept your challenge, even though I was really terrified because as you know, <laughs> I do not know much. Yeah. Uh, so maybe I hope soon you will read the Bible and you will learn more and you will come yeah. back to Christ so he can save you. Because my friend, your life can be taken from you today and then sorrow, yeah, sorrow, sorrow will not help you. So I invite you as soon as possible to come back to Jesus and accept him as your Lord, as your Savior. For the yeah. God of sex, he cannot, obviously. This is a sexual God, pervert God, right. pervert okay. prophet, pervert religion. So Jesus is the only one. His name is holy. His life is holy. His act is holy. And holy is his word. And he do say what he do. And he do what he say. And this is how you know who you should follow. Muhammad, he say things, he do something different. And actually even the good things he say is evil. So how we can even compare. Happy for you. Thank you for calling Thank me. You. And I hope soon Thank you will you. call me to tell me that you are, you decide to accept Jesus as your yes, Savior. Yes, I will learn more. All Thank right. you. Take care, my friend. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. All Ooh. right. I think we have enough for today. Taking calls in Skype was a long call. For how long? Yeah, it's almost three hours. <sighs> well, at least we were able to take this, uh, this man out of this garbage. But sadly now, he is not going to have endless penis. But maybe you need to think about it in a positive way. You live in England, in London, where parking spot is limited, and you have an endless penis. I mean, that's not right. You know? If you live in Arizona, in the open desert of Las Vegas, and your penis is endless, I mean, it can be used for oil purpose. Like now, Biden, he wanna send gas, to Europe, we can have a contract with your penis to use it as a pipeline, you know, or maybe a cable for the internet. I mean, even the promises of Muhammad is so stupid, so per perverted promises, but they are so stupid. I mean, even the, the endless penis, like what the heck is that? I'm so glad he did not promise us an endless, endless nose. So your wife is next to you and your penis is endless. And uh, honey, where's your penis? Uh, let me see. I cannot see him. Give me some. Give me the telescope, okay? Uh, the telescope cannot uh, cannot reach it really because it's so endless, like the galaxies now. Okay, husband, how are we going to have sex? Oh, I think you have to go to the other side of the world so we can have sex because he is very. Excuse my language. He is very very straight. You know, he's very tough now, and we cannot make you turn. Sorry, it's going to break. Mm. And what a promise, man. Shaitan take hair from their anus. Shaitan sleep on your nose. Shaitan piss in your ears. Shaitan uh, hold himself around your penis. What a per pervert. And then the Muslim, they say to you, well, Christian prince keep talking about sex. Do you have anything in your religion except sex? Aren't you worshiping, believing, praying, killing, doing jihad for the sake of penis? 
And then you're asking me, what do you talk about sex? What do you, this is your religion. What I will talk about. In the best scenario, when Allah decides not to talk about sex, he talk about big boobs. Big boobs flying in the wind. Which is really scary. I mean, imagine if those women, they hit you with their boobs. Did you hear the, did you watch the, the, the movie of Al-Qaddafi, the, the dictator? You know, when one, is one of his bodyguards, she break the, uh, you know, she break the brick with her boobs. I mean, those boobs are so big. A God, he promised us big boobs. Is that a booby trap? What if you put your head between her boobs and she smash your head? They are so big. Endless penis, endless, her ass is one mile. I mean, how come the penis is so endless, but the ass is one mile of the women? And how the ass is one mile and her vagina is endless too? And a vagina fit for that penis. And why we need women with big boobs? And where is the word women, by the way? In the verse, there's no women. It says, and big boobs, huge boobs. You know? In the heaven of Allah, I'm sure they will open a special, like, uh, you know, a special, a special care unit in the hospitals for boobs injury. Okay, somebody, like the husband come to the hospital because he was, he was hit by one of the nipples. If the boobs is so big, the nipple is how big they are and how sharp. What this religion is about? And if the ass of the woman is one mile, how big is her poo, poo And where you can get her a panty? What about the bra? You will go bankrupt. What a great religion. It's an amazing religion. Makes sense. Everything in this religion makes sense. Everything in this religion. Shaitan take care from their anus. I mean, conspiracy is all over. Shaitan rod himself around the penis. Shaitan sleep in your nose. Piss in your ears. Right? And they believe because the Prophet of Allah, he told the truth. Thank you all for being here. Later, we are going to update you about the date. We mentioned that we are going to take three days a week to be fixed date to go live on air. And we will soon, we will update you what those dates are. And um, then we can go from there. And I will go between those three days still. But there's a three days is going to be fixed date. Or maybe two days, we will see. Uh, which means you will know that every day in this, it doesn't matter what week, every day, like this day, etc., Christian Prince will be live on certain time. This is fixed date and fixed time. So we will announce it and you are welcome to join us. Thank you all for being here. May the Lord bless you. Pray for this gentleman to see the truth and the truth will set him free. He's already out of Islam, but already he started the way to find better truth. The, 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 let us say, the salvation, not better truth. The salvation, the true way, the only way, that is the way of Christ. God bless you. Christ is Lord. And we are here to help the Muslims. We don't hate them. We will never hate them. Never hate them. Because if you hate them, you become like Muhammad. You become evil like Muhammad. Don't do that. Love never fail. And we will never fail. In the name of Jesus. Thank you. God bless you. But I mean, again, he, he doesn't know who Gabriel is, right? Because he didn't come from an Abrahamic faith. The people of Mecca were pagan. The Quran has mentioned if this book was from other than God, they would have found in it many contradictions. If a book is without contradictions, that has no bearing on whether it comes from God or not. I've had phone books that are inerrant, but I certainly don't think God gave them. <laughs> that we believe without understanding. The brothers asked a very important question that most of the scholars say that listening to music, watching movies, and most of the television programs, they're haram. So how can we have fun?
let me tell you brother at the outset that having fun is permitted in Islam as long as the fun is halal fun <laughs> that the standard narrative has holes in the prophet it. tells us because Satan or the devil sleeps over our nostrils those who oversleep and not pray Fajr on time Satan urinates in their ears. I really do think Jesus was crucified and that he really was dead and buried. He, he thought that he was a son of God in the sense that he was specially chosen by God. I think Jesus really did think he was going to be the Messiah, the future king of Israel. I mean, that is, after all, why they crucified him. 